against someone I'm not familiar with yet. We shall see. This is Zaba, apparently. This guy is also from Malaysia, local player. Let's see what character he uses here. Taki going to go with Kazumi, of course, sticking with the waifu. I remember when I, I, when, I, remember when I first started doing the Ten commentary. He was with Brian. So I think he used to play Brian, but he said, you know what? Screw it. Why would I play Brian with just pick Kazumi? Much more solid tournament character. But he has been, like last year too, he was kind of carrying Team uh, Yamasa. Even though Nobi is the captain, Taki was the one with the best results. But recently, Nobi's been doing pretty good. This guy is no slouch. Kazumi Paul. What do you have? Two very simple, very straightforward characters. Two very easy to use characters. Right? If you're new to the Tekken game, pick them up. I'm on the Paul bandwagon. I know a lot of new players going with Kazumi as well. Break that damn wall. Who can go more ham? Yeah, they, I mean, they get a lot of flack, you know? No one like, they're like, oh man, these guys are so stupid. Anyone can play them. But at a high level, it's very, look, at a high level, look how, like, defensive and patient Take is. He just backs away, keeps his distance, safe pokes. He's gonna let Zaba just hang himself. Death Fist. That's not what you want to do. <laughs> so maybe, maybe watch Take, don't watch Zaba. Demo man, no punish here. Chop it away. Jab, jab, down forward one. God damn. Zaba swinging for the damn fences out here in Malaysia. We saw Shredder Kick, Death Fist, Demo Man, and Backswing Blow all in one round. All we need now is an unblockable, and we got the holy, the holy five. Goes for a tackle, gets reversed. I like that. Jesus. Not a clean hit though, so not a lot of damage. But yeah, notice what Take is doing. When you're fighting a, like a hand player, like if you ever watch me fight Obama, Obama sucks, he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. But when you want to fight a player like that, you want to just back away, right? There's no need to approach them, because they're going to approach you. So just keep your distance, you know, let them do unsafe stuff, and then just punish them. Take says, go ahead. Yeah, whiff right there. He's a little bit late with the punish, but he had the right idea. Breaks the grab. Another death fist. No punish them. And starts mixing up with the mids and the lows, the mids Round and the lows. Three. Does Kazumi not have a solid death fist punish? I don't know. Magic 4, one of the best in the game. Running 2 keeps him right where he wants to make time to put that pressure on. Hammer the gods, no. Demo man again, no punish. That's the second time he's tried to do running too. I don't know if he's trying to punish or he just wants the plus frames after that. I'll have to ask one of the uh, the pro players after this. Yeah, using the tracking. Just every button Take is pressing is hitting. Low, mid, tracking. Three rounds straight. Man, she's a cutie. Return to stage select. Good job following the rules. Whoa. You hear that? What the hell was that? I think a speaker just blew up in the venue. Anyway, game two. Let's see if Taka can make it six straight here against HXI Zaba from Malaysia. I heard other things from the Malaysian players. They told me that there are apparently five different fighting game events going on today. They have no sense of, you know, scheduling. So every event is going on today. So their scene is kind of split up. It just started. Yeah, guys, we've been streaming for two and a half hours or so. I've been holding it down. My voice is still in there. But we have a lot more Tekken action, and I think we're going to do some Street Fighter later. No Cyclops, all you memers. I know you guys love memes, and you love shouting and English. But uh, no Cyclops. I don't know who the hell is in Street Fighter. Let's a second hit rip on that. Down one string. And again, Take's got all the space to work with on his endless stage. He's gonna back away. Nice side step there on the follow-up. Ha! Sway two. Oh shit, counter hit! Yo, whoa! Is Zaba suddenly a top player? Is he suddenly a top player? Whoa! <laughs> Did he recognize that it's sometimes okay not to press a button? 
he dashed what, seven or eight times in Take's face, finally goes for the, the grab right there. Gets a round. He got no round brown in the last time as he tried to pay him back. Snatch a kick. Counter hit, gets a follow-up. Sway four again, such a good move. Tracking, his only weakness is it's high. Let me see the commando roll, bro. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> it's working, so don't stop. Zaba went from playing like a total nut to being like, yo, that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be so patient. Even Taki is confused. Yo, guaranteed on that. Oh, good brick to stay alive. Nice block. That would have been the round if he got hit. Put one checking with the mids. Uh oh. He's got reach. There's no chip damage because there's no wall. Oh my god. Take is crouching. Eats a fist right down his throat. Fight. Did Zaba pass the control to his big bro? What's going on? Counter hit. Demo man follow up. Nice block on the low. He didn't let it rip though. What the hell? Yamasa Take came all the way from Japan to be embarrassed by Zaba. Come on. Not like this. Down for two. Gets the launch. <laughs> Do something stupid. Surprise him. Death Fist. Oh, he's dead! Rah! One, one. Did he teabag? I didn't see. I, I saw the... Did he teabag at the end? Someone clip that. This is how Malaysians treat their guests. How, how shameful. Alright, Take just going to stage select. He is not going to be phased. This guy has been traveling around. He has the experience. He has the tournament nerves. I'm sure he's a little bit shook. I'm sure he's a little bit shook, but he's going to recover really quickly before getting into this next match. That first game was a blow-up. And then he did. I, jo I was joking. I was like, is he going to no-round Brown Take? He did. And then he teabagged him. But game three, going to Hammerhead. I've seen my other waifu, Cindy, in the background. Bam, 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 bam. Shout out to all you stream monsters. Shout out to just Tekken in general, man. This game has been getting bigger and bigger. The uh, the viewership numbers have been getting bigger. The sales numbers have been growing. Another counter hit. That was a great game. No shield. Beautiful, yeah. All right, there. That's the classic Zaba I know. Going for the scrubby uh, spring attacks. Hockey, of course, is ready with the jab. Folds him out of that. Says, come on, man. Don't you know who I am? Statue kick. Beautiful. While standing two. Pro combos? Not really. He's kind of dumb, but... Another reversal. He's got to stop going for the tackle. It's not working. Down four. Oh, 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 oh. Rage Drivers. Oh, doesn't even need it. Donkey Punch takes it. I was about to say, Rage Drivers is coming, but no. The counter hit stature kick is enough. Take on the board. One round. Four, four, four. Block. Okay. What's the second hit? That flash elbow go off. And then, yo, Raw Dog... Clean hit, Death Fist. This is the round one, Zaba. He's back, baby. Round two, Zaba's here now. Now he's dashing into a nothing. He's mixing it up. I heard it. I heard it. Death Fist come out too. Uh oh. Just do it. Yes, I know you want to do it. Didn't get the wall spot though. But just run up down one. One round apiece. The crowd is starting to get behind their boy. Man, a a a! The crowd is chanting along. Oh, commander roll, but whips and no break on the double throw. Wall splat. <laughs> there we go. Just keep doing it. Don't be afraid, man. Let's get another one. Get up, attack, get roll. Not dead. No one knows what he was doing there. But Kake back off for dear life. Nice. Beats out the rage drive. Now you got it, rage. Oh, beautiful sidewalk there from Take. Beautiful sidewalk. Take nodding to himself. He's like, yeah, I know that was nice. And now match point here for Yamasa Take from Japan. There we go. Now he's showing some disrespect with the hop kick. Song's getting super hyped now. There's a demo man blocked. Uh-oh. Strider kicks. Wall splat. Zaba is cracking. And that is it. Man, he was playing... I don't know if I want to say well, but he was putting in work. And then that last round, Taka just turned it up and 
Zaba started going nuts. Unsafe and unsafe and unsafe. And moving on, showing why he is the pro gamer. Hey, it's me, Juna. Showing why he is the pro. I think this is a uh, pool two now. So Take is starting his pool. But before that, we are going to finish the losers finals of pool one. So I got my my boy Loveneat from India, who's been running Josie today, against Dion. Dion, pool two. Sorry, correct. Pool two uh, with Dion Gray from Australia. So Dion is a Jack player. He showed Jack and Geese today. Love Neat from India is a Jack and Josie, but he's only been going with Josie. And that's why he's in the loser's bracket. Are we going to see a Jack off? Are we going to see Jack and Jack? I don't know. Hey guys, I am Juna. My co-commentator Valerie's playing. Be nice, guys. If you want to bully someone, don't bully the girl. Don't bully me. BGC Juna. It's all good. We're going to switch out here. Let's see what's going on. These are the two boys. Losers finals. Pool two. Who are they going to go with? Both players traveling out from their home countries. Shout out to the Tekken World Tour. I cannot give it enough credit. Yes, we are going to jack off on stream. We're DSPing out here. I was scratching an itch. Seven. Gonna lock in. Yeah, very interesting too. I always point it out, but Love Neat does not use the headset. This is not as like I understand if you're your home crowd and you have your crowd cheering for you, you might want to hear. But Love Neat just wants to hear even when they cheer against them. I'm getting a notice. I got. I bought this Apple Watch thing, right? I'm getting a notice. It says, uh, "Stand up and move." You've been sitting down for too long. Shut up, Apple Watch. Don't you know I'm a professional esports commentator? I can sit on my ass for 13 hours a day. Yeah. Anyway, the players are looking back, talking. I think they're trying to figure out how to plug in the headset. We shall see. Talk to me, stream monsters. Talk to me. Keep me some company. What are you guys doing in the Team Spooky chat? How are you enjoying the matches? What are you looking forward to? What's new out there in America? We just had E-League today. That was very exciting. I watched the whole thing. Those guys are really good, man. I consider myself a B-tier. I'm a B-tier commentator, I think. The YouTube comments confirm it. But watching, you know, Say Jam and Tasty Steve, those guys are, they're the best. I think they're the best in the world in English. I'm like, damn, I wish I could have said that. Damn, that was smart. I want more new Tekken characters. Me too. Just no lay, please. We need a Tekken E-League. Yeah, we had the Tekken E-League, the one day event, right? I agree. It'd be cool to have a, you know, an extended one like Street Fighter. Tekken is getting bigger. This game keeps selling. More people keep picking it up. The viewership numbers keep getting bigger, so it's not... I think the, the E-League is not far off. B+, plus, thank you. Appreciate that. We are, all right, Jack and Jack. Let's see. Beep, 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 beep. This character's on, like, the red stage. It's so hard to tell them apart. You can't even see the difference in the colors here. Right, anyway, Dion in the blue, Loveney in the, the uh, he's repping the Indian flag with the green pants. First launch goes to him, and he's got Dion cornered. Down back one. Down back one again. Dion loves that button. He was getting carried like crazy. That's what sent him down here. Goes for the get-up attack. <laughs> Loveney bringing out all the tricks right now. 4-2, Jesus slap, no counter hit. These guys are just duking it out, point blank. Hug, 4-2. That is Jack's fastest button. He's able to punish the hug there. And then down back one to close it out. Round one, love neat. What the hell? Did you see that? That down two was half a screen away. Those robot limbs. The down two is super good. You know, the big ass robot arms. It can hit you from half a screen away, but it is uh, unsafe. Launch punishable. 
Levine not afraid though. He's still fishing with it. Keeping his distance, throwing it out, saying, Dion, I dare you. Press the button or run into it. The down two is already out there. Ugh. Blocks a get up attack and then punches him in the legs. Two rounds straight for India. Where's Rip? Rip loves Love Me. Down two this time. A little jab punish there from Dion. Down two, but Love Me's too far. This is Jack against Jack. Tries to plant the seeds, but it whiffs. Dion dashes in, gets the launch to the wall. This is the best round so far for Dion. Can he close it out though, or is Love Neat gonna do some Indian magic? 4 2. Slap the shit out of you. Down 4 2 again, but no, he drops the combo. Whoa! That should be it. Dion taking a page from Love Neat. He says, hey, that's a good button. Let me do that down 2. Down 4 2, sir. Let me press that uppercut. Uh oh. Break on a throw. Loving slowly pushing Dion to the wall. And then Diba. Yeah, I feel like Loving is a lot more of a playing Jack's kind of neutral game, his defensive game. Dion's the one who's been approaching. That's what's been causing the match. Nice whip punish, finally. Challenging the, the down for two. EX debug, but too far. Just the tip. He bet it. Yeah, he bet it on the uh, the low scissors right there. Dion with the clutch block and punish. And now two rounds apiece. He's running it back. He interrupts the second hit of the uppercut. Push into the wall. Run in there. Yes, he does get it. 50%. God damn. Kicks him right in the top of the head. Get off me. No. Down for two. For two punish. Stream freezes. Both players are hesitant now. They recognize they're both one launch away from dying. Jackhammer, he's plus. Love me. Has not done the EXD bug yet. Let's see. Woohoo! Chop it away the legs. Trade. Oh no! Oh my god, Dion immediately turned around. This slow mo. Love me going for the low. Dion shaking the chair, looking like Asian pork chop right now. Stage select, or is he gonna go to Josie? Man, Love Me was up two rounds, and Dion just ran it all the way back. Started adjusting, started playing around uh, Love Neat's uh, kind of passive play style. Chugging that water. Yeah, Dion's got a very interesting style. He plays off to the side. No buttons like Halo. You know, don't look at my screen, bro. Don't look at my stick. This is Losers, Losers Finals. Love Neat, one of my favorite players. Put in so much work in Thailand, but he's on the verge of getting eliminated in pools. Then Australian? Round one. They they Fight. eat Vegemite down in Australia. Don't lose to one of those guys. Magic four. Didn't get too much damage there, but able to close the gap and get a launch. Plant the seeds on the back of his head. There it is, yeah, just poking away. Once you have that big life lead against Jack, it's hard to make the comeback. His pokes are just too good. Wow, down for two. That move is insane. Dashes in, but stops just in front. And now Jackhammer time. Your corner, Love Me, you can't move. Dion turning on the pressure. Three Jackhammers in a row. Forward, forward, one. Just do it. Ugh, kicks him right on the top of the head. Whoops. Little mistake. Look at that. Love Neat turning around after every round. His, uh, you guys can't see the player cam, but Love Neat mentally does not seem to be in the right place. Very, like, uh, emotion, emotional face. He keeps turning around after Dion takes these rounds. He's not happy. And you can see, he's starting to crack. EXD bug. Got the damage, but no, again, goes for the low, and Dion's ready with the block. Round four. He plays Jack, bro. He knows your strings. He knows it. Nice interrupt this time from Love Me. He cannot lose another round. If he loses another round, he's back on the plane to India. Back to his life as a doctor. Ugh, wall splat. Oh my god. No, not like this. I don't know why that shield didn't hit. But yeah, the wake up attack gets him with the mid. 
I thought that shield was gonna hit, I thought it was over. Fight. Love being staying alive for at least one more round, but sidestep down for two from Dion. He wants to close it down. He wants to make it to that top eight. 4-2-G's is slack. I don't care if you're a robot. I don't care if you don't have a soul. You gotta believe in the Lord. The Lord and Savior, Dagu Mahar. Man, that was last round was a blow up. Dion taking it. Love Neat eliminated in pools. Dion makes it out. So Dion is gonna be in the Hey Chizan, is that did he make top eight or top sixteen? Yeah, yeah, so he won though. So is he top eight or top sixteen? I think it's probably top eight. I think this tournament's only like 45 people. I think. I might be wrong. Alright, uh, we got a, the stream runner is gonna check for you, stream monsters there. Shout out to Love Neat though. Hopefully he travels some more events. Abstract says Jack Seven Mirrors, Resident Sleeper. What the hell, man? Jack Mirrors are hype. I like them. It's like watching, you know, an old school like ST match. It's not flashy. You know what's going on. You know their tools. It's really simple. Kawhi face miles. What's up? UIU. Uh oh. Uyu. We have a Uyu John Ding made it out in his winner side there. Welcome back. Yes. How'd it go? Thank you. Yep. Uh, uh, I saw well, you get beat bad. up. I saw yep. you get beat up real yep. bad. <laughs> it's, it's dead bad. I saw you get blown up. <laughs> Man, who's this kid sitting down? This is uh, Super Junior. 10-year-old competitor, uh, player. 10-year-old Tekken player. Man, yeah, a lot Tekken of player young, and yeah. uh, Street Fighter player as well. Really? Yeah. Super Junior, isn't that a K-pop band? <laughs> yeah, it is. I don't know if that's the inspiration for his name, but, uh, well, of course, everybody just calls him Junior. Junior. Because he's the youngest competitor. 10-year-old, yeah. man. That's really young. Even AK was, I think, like 12 when he started like putting in work. Yeah. Ten's the youngest I've ever seen. The thing is, I haven't seen him play Tekken as much, but his Street Fighter is kind of legit. Uh, I think he made some top 16 finish really? in tournaments here, locally. There you go, guys. Top 8, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So, um... Sorry, uh... Dion Gray. Dion Gray from Australia qualified for top 8. So he's in top 8 losers. We'll see his jack later. So, on the screen, on the right side is uh, from... HXI, uh, Hitbox Infinite Carnage, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, Zor, I think it's an Eddie player. Okay. The best right now we have. The uh, best Eddie in Malaysia? Malaysia, yeah. Super Junior. Man, 10 year old kid. I would have killed somebody if I could have had an arcade stick. You play on arcade or pad? Uh, he's playing on a stick. You, you, how about you? Oh, you me, me, I'm playing on a stick. Yeah. I didn't get my first arcade stick until I was like. 18 or 19? Yeah, and I heard that uh, his stick is kind of randomly donated by someone from the FGC. Not really from the FGC. I do, uh -huh. know, do not know who donated the stick to him. But Markman. It was Markman. With Markman? This kid must be a cosplayer. <laughs> Markman giving out the sticks. Now that's cool. Yeah, support the next generation. 10 yeah. years old, he's got a bright future. But no mercy. If he loses, he loses. Let's see. I don't care who my opponent is. Man, woman, child, dog, in tournament, I am going all in, no holds barred. I don't care if the crowd uh, boos me. Uh, oh, it seems that Zoro already changed his character to a Geese. This would be a very good Eddie. This kid is definitely 10 years old. <laughs> yeah. Is he allowed to play this game? Isn't this like a teen rated game? They have some sexy ass costumes in here with the, the bikinis and stuff. Yeah, people here don't really care about it. Uh, his mom better. Probably was better. Dude, do you hear that? Yeah. Do you hear that uh, stream? Luckily, I have the headset on. Oh man, they got all sorts of crazy audio issues going on out here. This is horrible. <laughs> Yeah, they have, they're having like speaker explosions or something, but luckily I have the headset on, so I just see everyone in the crowd with like a painful expression on their face. Anyway, here we go with the match. Who's the kid play? Uh, I think it's Jin. Oh no, it's Dragonov. Dragonov, he's smart. Man, this kid is a genius. 
Yeah. I mean, you, you only have to memorize like two moves. Two moves, yeah. yeah. If you're doing anything more than two, you're probably losing. Yeah. Down two, running two. Down two, running two. And if you want to mix it up, hit him with that, that, that slicing Sobot, man. The boom, the best intro in the game. Round one. All business, just points at him. So here we go. Zer, yeah, with the geese against Super Junior. Dragon off. Early start, eats the mid and gets slammed down. Kien. Ward 1 plus 2, such a good move from Geese. Another. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Running one, I don't know. One is oh. murdering this kid. That's good. Teach him a damn lesson, like I said. Oh. Run up, dick punch. <laughs> yeah. You're going to learn today, kid. You're going to learn today. Welcome to the FTC. <laughs> Running away, yeah. Still no real attack here from Super Junior. He's just getting mauled. Try to down for two, gets interrupted, and here it is again. Back to the wall. Goes for the snake edge. Why not? Dead. Ouch. Whoops. Whoa! Oh! Wow. Let him know. <laughs> Let him know. Round three. I'm not afraid of you, old man. Yeah, it's kind of funny that I, I just told Zor that you know you have you have to do the charge on Super Junior because he's actually a very disrespectful. Oh player. really? Yeah. The kid is. Yeah, the nice. kid is. Nice. He finished top eight with a T bag uh -huh. on uh, oh, a local yeah. player. There you go. That's good. Yeah, the, the the young whippersnappers are trying to get a little bit uh you know too saucy. Put him in a place. Key charge on his ass. Ooh. Yeah, but Super Junior doing a lot better. He got beat up in the first two. This round's doing okay. <laughs> All right. Max mode cancel. Gets a screw. Spikes him down. Oh, Ooh. oh my god. Wow. Superman well, punch here. Up at two. least it wasn't a 3 0. Made again. Yeah, Super Junior keeps going for the duck there. It's that little 50 50. Could confirm off the flow here from Zert. Yeah, so we were talking earlier about when you play Dragon Off, you want to do two moves. Yeah. Down two, the knife, and running two, the punch. He hasn't done either of them. <laughs> this kid is rewriting the meta. KDCR, take notes. Nobody's actually in the crowd watching him. Stun. Oh, wow. They Key charge on him. No, he didn't. 1 0 here for Zert. Super Junior, you're right. He's like shaking his head. I can't believe I'm losing this scrub. <laughs> this guy's in the BGC already. Look at this old man. Yeah. Switch into Eddie Gordo. Here it is. Oh wow. We all were the. Everyone was this this ten year old kid picking Eddie and taking three. Get ready for the next battle, battle. Even in 2018, the kids still. You know, I'm gonna pick Capoeira. You can't play Eddie like you used to though. Yeah, you can't I mean, play like the old school, the Tekken three days. Yeah, a lot of Capoeira players here already changed idea to Josie, or um, I forgot what's his name. Come on, this might be amusing. But Super Junior is uh, in Tekken. He's just a button masher. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. So Street Fighter is his main game. Yeah, Street Fighter is his main game. Oh, that's good though. You guys should uh, take notes from this kid. It's fun to play multiple games. Don't just stick to one. You don't have to be a top player in every game. You can play other games for fun. Broaden your horizons. It'll actually help you in your main game. Playing Tekken will help you in Street Fighter. And vice versa. Gets floated here. No balcony, but he's at the wall. Mash Rage Art. Again! Oh, no. He keeps ducking there. I think it's four for four. On that, that mid-low. Nice max cancel here, but he drops the ender. He's nervous. He's scared of Super Junior. Yeah, just swinging here. I don't know. Yeah. He's I, don't, I, don't know how, I don't know how good he is with, <laughs> with uh, Eddie. He's there as well. He's kind of patient. He's like, I don't know what this kid can do. I'm just going to play patient. See what he's got. Yeah, this is meshing yeah. buttons. He doesn't know how to do like the outside mouse setups. <laughs> yeah, they're backing off. Sometimes it's scary. Like when you fight a nut in this game, it's pretty terrifying. Unless you have that godlike Korean movement and that like, you can like sidestep everything, you might want to just back away. 
standing there. Get off me. Yeah. No rodeo for you. There's not pressing any button. Oh, is he toying with the kid? There he yeah, is. Yeah, I think he is. Oh! oh! Wow! Got him. Come back, city. Oh no. The bully, man. This kid is two for two on key charges right now. Unchallenged. He's at least got 100% on the key charge rate. Oh wow! Again. Oh <laughs> my god. This is Malaysian Tekken. Yes. This is what they do out here. Man, could you imagine? Actually, no, I can't because I just teach 10 year olds. I, I was like, can you imagine me so angry at a 10 year old stranger <laughs> that you wouldn't key charge on him, trying to embarrass him on stream in front of what, 5,000 people? Yo, go to the player camera. I want to see the kid like slap him or something. Throw his stick. Uh -oh. Ooh, rodeo. Boom. Oh, I didn't get one. I didn't get one. Did you give him one? I don't know. I love how we have this like epic music playing. <laughs> we have the choir playing as these guys just key charging each other. Mid. All right, he's teaching him. Finally, Super Junior stands up. With Ooh. punish. Oh. oh, man. I was about to say, this kid is done trolling. He's here to win it now. No, Super Junior doesn't, doesn't stop trolling ever. Yeah, he's just fishing out for the launcher. They're trying to kill him with just jabs. Oh, good. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh it's air He didn't get the full hit right there. <laughs> Key charging again. He can't block. Key charging right back. Yes, you can't block, bro. Let's key charge. Run up and just rage out. Rage out. Run up, rage out. He can't block. Oh. Time, 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 time. Oh, oh. the mid launcher. <laughs> I can't wait till Say Jam and Rip. Hey, Say Jam and Rip, I hope you guys are reviewing this match on the Tekken World Tour recap show. I want the I want the official breakdown from Rip from a real Tekken pro. What's going on? Give me the frame data here on these key charges. How can they do it more optimal? We don't know. What are those? Zero so is back to the balcony. Could go downstairs if Super Junior got something, but oh, Zoro's not playing now. Yeah, you don't want to go to game three. Nice with yeah. punish. Kills him with the super and the handshake. This kid is like, yeah, whatever, old man. See me in Street Fighter. <laughs> See me in Street Fighter, BGC, Malaysia Division. The new Tekken meta. You counter the key the key charge with the key charge. Anyway, Jay is stepping out. I think Valerie's stepping back. I guess she got beat up. I guess that is the the sign. That's how you know as a commentator when they're back before when they're back early. That means they got beat up. You play your match. Yeah. How'd it go? Terrible. Yep. There you go. That's how you can <laughs> tell. It's easy to tell. Whenever you see, you know, like Tasty Steve, like, yo, man, I got a, I got a match. And then like seven minutes later, he's back on the desk. You're like, well, <laughs> I know what happened. Oh, we're getting delivery. What the heck is this? Is this Domino's the official sponsor? This better be good. Ooh, man. That looks good. I can't eat that on stream. I'm going to get sick. Yo, cut to the commentator cam. Let me show Juna's world tour. I got it. You don't need to change it. I'll lift it up. Juna's world tour. Every country I go to, I've got to get the local food here. Look at that. Damn, that smells good. This is not an official sponsor. <laughs> I wish it was Domino's. I mean, man, this really, if this was Domino's, would be way better. But unfortunately, what is this anyway? Does that have a name? Look at that camera work. Look at that action zoom. Man, that's like a $20,000 camera, too. Can't even take a picture of food. It looks like noodles or something. I think it's Kwetiao. I'm not sure. But in Indonesia, we have something similar like that. It's called Kwetiao. Yeah, I guess it's like lo mein, if you guys are in the States, you know, Chinese lo mein, except it's like thick noodles. Mmm! Why'd they give me a spoon? How am I supposed to eat it? Did they cut up the noodles? <laughs> I guess you should cut them up. Yeah, I need a damn fork. I'm not gonna eat this right now, though. You gotta save my energy. Can't spare any energy on digestion. All of it has to go to tech. 
Boom. So who'd you play in your match? Uh, I played a Malaysian player called Jacket uh -huh. and uh, Shinado. What characters? Uh, Jacket was using Jack. Okay. And Shinado used uh, Noctis and uh. Uh, Horang. Noctis and Horang? It means you got a game? Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. It's better than I did. I still haven't won a game yet in Tekken tournament. I have to fight players like John Ding whenever I go down. I get beat <laughs> up. It's no fun. Anyway, we got the next players. Looks like locals here. We still have a lot of killers, guys, that you haven't seen yet. I mean, we saw Take, but I've been talking about Nobi. Olsan is still here. You said Dimeback? You saw Dimeback? Yeah, I saw Dimeback in the brackets. So Dimeback may or may not be here. I don't see him. Wait, which pool are we in right now? I think we're in pool three or pool four. Three. I think we do. We did one and two, and now we're three and four. I think. I'm not sure. Is this Olsan? Yeah, we have Olsan. Yes, it is. So Olsan up now. This is one of Korea's best. Well, I guess I can't say because everyone in Korea is a god. <laughs> this is a very strong Korean player. Very, very, very strong. And as I was saying, he got beat up yesterday in uh, casuals by the Pakistani Brian player. But we saw John Ding got beat up as well, but he ended up winning in tournaments. So maybe trying to show you man casuals whatever tournament is what matters they had a night to figure Oscar things out yep. they played a, it wasn't just like the first two they were playing long sets too so the download the day before Han, this is I had the wings for the first time what wings oh Domino's I thought you done Jabali fried chicken I can't believe you guys put something with Jabali's name on it in your mouth what the hell's wrong with you? That, 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 that guy's fetish right there all right, you talk about the match. I'm going to eat some of these noodles. All right, then. So we've got Olsan from Korea versus... I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Xves, X-V-E-S from Malaysia. Uh, going with Asuka. All right, so Olsan, one of the strong uh, Kazumi players from Korea. He hasn't really been showing up in uh, much tournaments lately. But then, as far as I know, he has... He's had some great performances in the tournaments he's joined. It's like beautiful punish there. And just jabbing away. Nice sidestep, but then he gets the last hit. Counter hit, no follow up. What the hell kind of meat is that? Oh, is that a heart? I'm not eating this shit. <laughs> oh my god. So it's best with rage. And a punish again on the whiff! Olsan! Where's my Domino's? Yo, bring me Domino's Pizza! <laughs> the official sponsor! So Olsan looking pretty strong here. Oh, oh my god, whiff. I'm throw could've gone, Could've been worse for him. And all the way to the back, nice punish. And Olsan just dominating Seves. XVS? XVS? Oh shit. It's like Cyclops, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's call him Vess, I guess. Vess. Oh, beautiful. He ducked the second hit of that string Round and instantly three. punished it. Fight. Yeah, also I'm going with Kazumi, of course. This Kazumi, what is the lore? The lore, Kazumi is Asuka's great aunt or something. When do you stream on to figure it out? Figure out the family tree. But yeah, both these characters quite, you know, defensive. A little more, you know, want to keep their distance, use their, their counter pokes and their zoning tools. But I think Kazumi's a, a bit better at doing it than Oscar is. Yeah, Asuka's offense is, isn't the best, in my opinion. It isn't the best. Nice sidestep right there. Osan has been getting a lot of those sidesteps in. And a power crush Sends to beat out the can-can. Can. Sends out that tiger. Vess is shaking his head, laughing. I am, I'm... I'm kind of pissed. Like, I'm actually kind of upset. Oh, uh, why? Who gave me, like, I can't believe they gave me that food <laughs> with hearts in it. You think I eat heart from America? That's a heart, Chusan. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> There's a heart. That was heart. Ask is Kazumi's sister's mom. Kazumi's sister's mom. That doesn't make mom. sense. Wait, I thought Kazumi isn't related to Jun. Wait, no, Asuka's not man. related. We gotta call Harada up. <laughs> we need to get a, a lecture here. 
Either way, it doesn't matter because Kazumi is beating Asuka's butt right now. Kazumi, very, I always say it, very, very, very strong tournament character. Nothing She's got fancy. Very good fundamentals. Yeah, doesn't need any risk, no high execution, just keeps her distance. Let you make the mistakes, and she's just ready and waiting to punish you for it. Yeah, Osan's been uh, actually just facing away, sidestepping, uh, making Sylvester whip, whip a lot, and just punishing it. See, just like yep. that. Keeping the positioning right now, not letting him escape with his back to the wall. Chopping away down forward one. Another Again. whip punish right there, yeah. It's hard. Tekken, you know, the high level Tekken is just. Determined by your movement and your spacing, and right now Olsen just outclassing this. He doesn't know what to do. Also, not pressing anything, just waiting. He's like, go ahead. And taking that first round in the second match. Is that four in a row? I guess that was, I think that was four in a row. No round brown in a no round brown. Can you do it, Olsen? Bringing the best to the wall. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that Olsan is even out here in Malaysia. Yeah, that, that was what I was asking too. Why is he out here in Malaysia all of a sudden? He's not sponsored. I know a lot of the Korean players have been getting sponsored. There's first on eSports. Oh, nice oh, interrupt on the unblockable. First on eSports. Um, Dimeback just got picked up by Equinox. Equinox yeah. Who you picked up, you know, half the country. <laughs> Again, with the whip punish Boom, and the tiger. Boom, that tiger, yep. Five rounds in a row right now. Down for one. Trying to turn on the offense a little bit more now. Maybe just close it out. Again, Osan's defense is amazing. On point. Back and away. He's got the life lead. He can lame it out if he wants. Says, you gotta come to me. 50%. Yeah, this is a very one-sided match right here. And Osan hasn't even used any combos. He's not really going for any launchers. Just the whiff punishing. Yep, you don't need to, right? Oh, look at him, he was like, he was like, oh man, and he pretended like he was nervous. <laughs> Very polite, Olsan. Clutching his chest. Oh, I can't believe I won that. <laughs> Six rounds straight, no round brown, no round brown. Looking good. So now we're going to have, uh, further on in the bracket, we're going to have Take stepping back up. The family man, he, shout out to him, he just had a, a new baby a couple months ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Congratulations to Take. On there. Yeah, he's a dad. He's going up against who, though, I wonder? Not sure yet. So, Yamasa Take from Japan is going up against uh, Indonesia's Artek. Wait, wasn't Olsan sponsored by the... Nightmare. By Gura, the same team with yeah, Gura, yeah, right? He yeah, He's not I, sponsored anymore? I think... I'm not sure, but I think they got disbanded. Oh. I think the sponsorship got disbanded or something. Bam, 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 bam. So we've got Taki up there with the jacket. I feel sorry for him. He has to wear the Yamasa jacket. It's a very cool jacket, but it's hot in here. Yeah. And these esports jerseys are pretty whack. They don't breathe. <laughs> I don't know why they have these materials. They need to get the, the Uniqlo. Oh, those thin shirts? Yeah, the airism ones or whatever. They're, they're great. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at all. Alright, so it looks like he's going up against the local player here. Or uh, Abaget? That's uh, last he's, week's yeah, tournament, right? He's going. Uh, he's uh, Indonesia's player. One of the top players uh, oh. in Indonesia, if not the best. How far is Indonesia from here? How did you get here? You flew here? Yeah, I flew here. Uh, it took about two hours. Oh, that's not that bad. Oh, you went from Japan, didn't Japan, you? Japan, yep. Uh, how long did that took? By the time I left my apartment to the time I got to the hotel, it was about 14 hours. Wow. <laughs> yep. Doing it every week. Doing it every week. For you stream monsters and for you YouTube monsters, I'm, I know you're going to be in those comments tomorrow <laughs> talking the good trash. You're welcome. All right, good handshake there. Traveling around the world and they give me chicken heart to eat. Come on. Chicken heart. Come on. I'm going to throw up. Better than Hong Kong. They gave me a raw hot dog. And nobody's there behind. Yeah, of course, nobody's going to be watching his boy, Take, the teammates there. You is not here for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, actually, last week, uh, you, I talked a bit with you. Mm -hmm. He said he had work. He was busy oh. doing work. So, so this only week he Take, make it. yeah. Mm -hmm. So another Kazumi, this time Take. Osan, we're probably going to see it. Osan, Take. Kazumi mirror in the future. Possibly. Yeah. Get the jackhammer. 
Jack. This is like the seventh or eighth Jack we've seen today. Very, very popular character out here in Southeast Asia. Yeah, that's what I said earlier this morning as well. So many Jack players in this tournament. Yeah, why not? Oh, he's uh, a good tournament yeah, here. Good tournament character, not too hard to use. I think though to be at the highest level takes a lot of skill. Ah, yes, yes. But indeed. yeah. Boom! Beats out the power crush. Yeah, quick, quick to the draw there. Nice interrupt. Round one Take. So if we're talking about not Olsan, but if we're just talking about Kazumi. Kazumi seven rounds straight right now. Right. <laughs> Kazumi seven trying rounds straight. Kazumi, can you win 12 rounds in a row on stream? Not looking like his Artex. Very strong right now. Nice block on the low. Ready with the punish as well. Interrupt. Streak is over. Streak is over. Artex. streak is over. Indonesia showing up. And the punish on the wild standing one there. Beautiful. Yeah. Creates that distance. Makes a statue kick with and then uses those long robot arms. Those extendo arms punishes with the down oh, 4 too. Nice punish there. There was a pushback on that. Gets a jackhammer and a follow up. Yeah, out of the float. Yeah, a lot of these, uh, both players are pressing a button. It's just like one of them is just one frame fast. Oh, whoa, 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 that tracks. Thank you. Thank wow. you. <laughs> Thank you, Rod. The third dimension. Jack does not care. Yeah, and surprisingly, Artek is up 2-1 right now against Taki. 4-2 from point blank, but no. Gets blocked and punched into 1-1. Down back one chop at the legs. Again, Taki going for the side steps. Yeah, it's very scary, right? Sidestepping uh, Jack. He's got the down 4-2 or the down back one. You have to guess which way you're going to go. Yes, I, as far as I know... Reach. For the jackhammer, you have uh, to side Oh, so the jackhammer, yeah. yeah oh, jackhammer. oh, magic four, rage art! Bring him to the wall. Oh, oh man. Up left. Why was that wall there? Why was that wall there? Artek was so close. So close to taking the first match against Take. Then they're both now even on round points. Beautiful punish. Say yeah, say yeah. Running two, such a good move. Very scary to deal with. You have to walk it, but it does track. Second hit, lets it rip. Our attack with rage. Yeah, but rage, but no oh health. Oh my god! He's gonna hurt, but still, he's gonna be way behind. And he's gotta put in a lot of work. Yeah. He does have the wall positioning though. If you can get a wall splat, oh my god! Or Taki might just wake up, roll. You win. Game one, pet the tiger. That was good though. He he actually put up a fight yeah. against Take. He still has uh, two more games. He got another game, another chance. He could run it back. Drinking that water. Yeah, he overextended himself at the end. He got uh, a little bit too excited after the rage art. Wanted to run in there, try and close it out. Take just rolls. Rolls, stands up with punishes. Game two where we're going. Geometric plane. Bim, bim, bim. Okay, let's see what Round our tech four. might be changing because he needs to definitely change something if he wants to win this around uh, against Take. I mean, I don't think he's got to change too much. He was playing really well. Just a couple unfortunate uh, interactions. Maybe he he was getting nervous. Yeah. Here. Oh, beautiful! He ducked that for a millisecond. Yeah, just chopping like down forward one. Such a good mid poke right there. Artek is staying patient now. And a down forward two out of nowhere. Preemptively, yeah. Boom. Oh, the wall. The wall splat. Kept alive with the pixels. Dashed in. Gets him with the mid. Round one in game two is Artek. This guy's, uh, you weren't lying. He's good. He is. He's one of the best in Indonesia. I think, I guess you could say he's second best after me. From well, Meat got beat up. Meat is out of here. Oh, he he lost already. Yeah. Oh wow. Picking King and Jack, he got beat up pretty bad. Oh, so nice it's up to Artek now. Jack Hammer. Pocket with the life lead, just backing away. You got to close it out though. You can't be too patient. And the debuff blocked. Yeah, EX though, so it's okay. And the whip punish right there. Very nice from Take. 
Nobi nodding in the background saying, you got this. Fight. Oh, catches him out of the air. Yeah, it's kind of awkward uh, situation right there. Didn't get a full float, no full combo here. Say yeah. Both players using their moves, just getting those plus frames after the jackhammer, after the running too. And a counter hit. Ba -ba. One plus two does so much damage at the wall. Oh, That's nice break. Again with the down forward two, punishing that whiff. Yeah, you're never safe. If you have any button near Jack, not even near Jack. If you have any button on the stage and Jack's on the stage, down forward two is coming. He tried to go for a mix up there, yeah, but again, didn't get the shoulder. It's the exact same thing we saw in the last round where Take doesn't do anything. He's just knocked on the ground. Artek hangs himself. Taki just gets up and kills him. Whish! Showing off the unblockable on tournament. Okay. Both just staying patient. And yeah. Artek again with a down four two. Yeah, he's got to win his round. Otherwise, he's down into losers. Tried to go for a second rocket punch there, but uh, Take interrupts him. Third hit. Breaks the throw. Yeah, don't test Taki's defense. Whee! Oh, wow! Down for two. Gonna put him in rage here. Run in. What's the mix-up? Just goes for the shoulder plus. Satchel kick is... Yeah, Satchel kick is a th threat. So while you're thinking about that, he's gonna down for one. Oh, was what? Six in a row? Yeah, he just down, down for one. one down for one. Down for one. Down for one. I would've definitely got hit too. Right? I was thinking about the low. I was like, the low's coming. The low's coming. It never came. Just mids. Take, clean, moving on. Indonesia's second best player dropping down into the loser's bracket. Still alive, they're still alive in the tournament, still has a chance. We got the other Yamasa boy up here, Nobi. Nobi is sitting down now. Who's he going up against? We don't know, we're finding out with you guys at home. Once again, you're watching, look at that, look at all these cool sponsors here. Domino's, if you're watching Domino's, please give me some pizza that doesn't have heart on it. No heart, no testicles, no <laughs> no intestine, please. Just give me the good old chicken breast. But Nobi here going up against, I guess, a local player, because I see everyone in the crowd cheering for him. Yeah, the Malaysian community, the Malaysian Tekken community, they've, they're all very supportive of one another. Whenever one comes upon the stage, everyone just pulls in and starts cheering for them. Oh no, don't do it. No, this is what happened last time. Oh it's my the, god. <laughs> the kiss of death. If you ever take a selfie with your opponent, you're gonna lose. That is <laughs> that is science, guys. Don't do it. I don't care who your opponent is, get the selfie after the match. You can't even upload that selfie. You upload it on anything. You'll be like, hey, look at this picture of me and Nobi and every comment's gonna be like, you got beat up, you suck, <laughs> like 2-0. Getting murdered. Very interesting too, Nobi has the uh Did you did the stream see him? Did you see him put that thing in his nose? What? He has this this medicine thing. Ah. Oh, I think he has bloody noses. Oh. I think he's got like asthma or bloody nose or something. He was medicating up in Indonesia as well, I saw. Oh, I see. Maybe he wasn't used to the food there or something. Once the air out here is a lot different. Oh really? Is it that different from Japan? Yeah, Japan is, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it out here. The air is thick. Uh, maybe it's the, the cars, because we have a lot of cars here, a lot of traffic, a lot of pollution. Yeah, look at him trying to open up those sinuses. And he is, he is going with Steve, okay. They'll be known for his uh, dragon over, but been going more often to Steve. Yeah, he's only used Steve once. If I'm not mistaken, he used Steve, uh, he used Dragonoff, sorry. He used Dragonoff once in Applegate Cup. I think it was against Lohai. So aside from that, I think he's stuck up with Steve. Anyway, let's see how the Steve's gonna work here. The hood is already knocked off. Booyah! Tries to electric with punish, a little bit too late. A nice duck, twin pistons. Okay. Oh. Now they're hell sweep. He's going for two hell sweeps in this round. He's gonna get a round? Oh no. Oh no. There it is, got him. Down four, kicks him in the shins, closing it out. That was scary though. For a second, I thought Nobi was going to make a comeback. Yeah, that was definitely scary. He had rage, he had the positioning. Another Twin Pistons. He is quick with the duck. Of oh course, God. Steve having a lot of high strings, high attacks. Very good high attacks. 
Yeah, ADK looking pretty strong right now. And Nobi recognizing as well, starting to go for the mid. Gets the unblockable. Guaranteed after that. Another freeze. Oh, oh guys, oh. the rage drive. Beat it out by the... Two oh. rounds in a row? Yeah, a Dempsey roll. I never see uh, C players going for that. Oh my god, another one. Well, Andik looking to take the stream yeah. nil from Nobi. Two counter hits on the down for two here. His health sweeps have been going unchallenged. Finally. Little reset right here. Man, that was sick. Oh my god, that was sick yeah, sequence there from Novi. Reminding everyone yeah. that he's one of the legends in the Tekken scene. Yeah, that was nice. He went for a jab and got a reset into the, the wall splat combo and then went low, then went mid. Everything hit right there. Nobi staying or Novi staying alive. Good block on a low. Hell sweep. Alright, he's starting to get a feel maybe for when ADK wants to press buttons. We saw the first block on the Twin Pistons, the first block on the Hell Sweep. He's starting to get a read. Yeah, he's starting to go in more, uh, more patiently, actually. Taking his time, attacking one at a time, and again, sidestep with punish. Yep, 1-1-2. One, 2-2 one, two. Two, two now. Complete shift in the momentum. Do you have any tricks? Electric. Alright, that's the first electric. He's been doing a good job of avoiding that and getting hit by the other moves, but now... Mixing it up. Big lead right here for ADK. Uh-oh. Oh, again, blocks the Hell Sheep, gets the perfect launch for it. Yeah, I mean, I think that's okay. He had the life lead, it's okay to take that risk, but now you're in trouble. Big punch, tries to interrupt, goes for the Rage Drive, gets punched right in his leg. Overkill. Yeah, nice comeback there from Nobi. Three rounds in a row. Nobi nodding to himself, sniffing the uh, inhaler thing he's got. Stage select. So ADK is going to stick in. Oh, Man. so that's what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, what is he smelling in there? <laughs> he's saying, hey, bro, you want one? <laughs> hey, bro, you want to try it? Oh, well, maybe he's not used to the air here, like you said. What the heck is in there? The best smell. It's his favorite smell. He brought it from Japan. Now he's got a headset on. He's changing it all up right now. All right, go to Mishima Dojo. Another freeze. Round one. Yeah, it's our converters are blowing up. We don't have a long break. We're gonna have to wait till tomorrow, I guess. Counter hit. A little bit extra damage right there. Oh my god. Slash kick. Yeah, over the low. Gets a counter hit on that. The sway one or the stance one, just chopping away. Another one. Flicker jab city. Round two. Yeah, so ADK won those first two rounds, but then Nobi just woke up. The uh, the inhaler started kicking in. And catches him out of the air. Another hell sweep. Yeah, I definitely think the download has happened. Download complete. Definitely think that is the story. One pixel of life left, not enough. Man, this is the fast. This is honestly the the, the heaviest turnaround I've seen so far today. ADK was looking good. He was about to win too. Yeah, a lot of yeah. uh, players we didn't expect. They were they started off well, but again, that is the mark of uh, you know a world class player. Uh, a top player is able to adjust in a match, not let the nerves get to him, make the comeback. He'll be showing it right now. Duria. He'll be is. Oh my God! He blocked what? He got hit by two hell sweeps, and then he blocked five, I think. You want to try me? You want to try hell sweep me again, dummy? Live by the hell sweep, die by the hell sweep. But yeah, you saw nobody just adjust. He said, "Okay, this is how uh, this Kazuya plays." I see. You. Yeah, he wasn't really going for a lot of mids. Actually, I think he wasn't really going for a lot of mids. Nobi with the the nice white shorts on as well. We're out here in Southeast Asia. It's hot. It's humid. You gotta dress for the occasion. I've never actually been to Japan, but I've heard it's like extremely cold all year round. No, Japan? Japan? Hell no, no. What the heck? You thinking of Antarctica or something? No way. <laughs> Japan is hot. It's humid during this time, but not as bad as uh, out here. Oh, so, yeah. so this is much worse than Japan. Yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess if you live out here and you go to Japan, you might think it's cold. Ah, okay. But to us people on the the northern half of the hemisphere, we think it's okay. All right. So who do we got next? We got Team Plaid. These guys look like, uh, you know, player one, player two color right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The plaid boys stepping up. 
I'm, I'm guessing these are Malaysian players, local players. We shall see. We don't have the brackets up in front of us, guys. I hope you do. I think if you guys type brackets to Moobot, they will post them up for you. But we are here at FVX Scene 2018 in lovely outside outskirts of Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. So this is a big esports festival. They got Street Fighter over there. They got all sorts of fighting games on the second floor. They have mobile gaming and random stuff on the first floor. We're running through day one. We're going to run down the top eight today. And then we're going to show it all tomorrow on the big stage. Hey, Chusan, are we going to be on the loudspeaker tomorrow? I don't think he heard you. I hope so. I hope we're on a loudspeaker. I love it. I'm going to yell. Yell and get hype on the loudspeaker. Make some noise. You guys at home, make some noise. Oh, oh, we are. Hell yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm a bit scared of getting too hype. Sometimes I, I lose myself. And then, as uh, if you know what happened last time, I lost my voice. Yeah, but you got, it takes time. You got to train your, your voice. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not used to all this. Japanese, like, Adu, he's a famous commentator. He goes to, like, voice acting and, like, singing school oh, to learn how to, you know, control your voice. So he can do, because he screams. And he can do it for like 12 hours straight and oh, be fine. Bum, bum, bum. So we're having a little headset issue. They're trying to figure out how to get the sound here. But if you guys can, use the hashtag, spread the word, all that stuff. Support Tekken, support Team Spooky. Right, I think we're having a Malaysian player against a Pakistan yeah, player. Yeah, I think this is the guy, this is the other uh, Pakistan player. So Arslan. I'm helping out with uh, Balil or whatever. If you guys, like I said, if you don't have the uh, Team Spooky sub and you cannot type in the chat because it is sub only, you can use the hashtag. Actually, let me read the hashtag comments right now. Let's check. Hashtag FV, FVX scene 2018. 50 tweets. Wow. Tekken before bed. Let's go. This guy's enjoying some Tekken. What's up, Nabil? Fahad says, let's go, fate, Bilal, let's go. Unfortunately, Bilal, how, oh, wait, did he make it out in losers? Yeah, I think Bilal made top eight losers. Yeah, he beat me, right, recently? Yeah, I think Bilal's in uh, top eight losers, so, uh, so we got pack, one Pakistani in top eight, I think. The eSports, well, they have a guy doing all the, uh, the commentary there, but he's saying he came up short one versus two against John Ding, yeah, that was a good match. But he made it, yes, confirmed. And then everyone else just me. It's me talking to myself. Oh, Jasmine at Metrocon says, uh, can't stay up to watch Seam, so you gotta help a friend move in. But she's glad to watch John Ding and cheer on Legally. Man, this girl Jasmine loves Uyu. I mean, who doesn't love Uyu, though? I don't love Uyu. Give you me don't? a hat. <laughs> Give me a hat. I'll oh, love Uyu. I want to be. I want Uyu to sponsor me with some Domino's pizza, man. That's what I need. None of this heart. I still taste that shit. All right, anyway, we got the other player from Pakistan. Balil's in the background coaching him, helping him out. So another Kazumi player. From is he Pakistan? That's smart. Yeah, I think I think I think the Pakistan uh, player is using Kazumi. That is a smart play. Lucky Chloe. I don't know. Are you, Lucky Are you ready? Also, I've heard that uh, this Pakistan player, he actually beat John Ding in a first to ten in casuals. Was yeah, it? I think it might have been the other. I don't know if it was this guy or it was Balio. I know, I don't know. I don't know if Balio was botting everybody yesterday. But then if it was... They're him, both good. Arslan Ash. Yeah. And he's going up against uh, Lucky Chloe, then he should probably already have an idea of what the matchup should be like. Well, Lucky Chloe doing good right now. Got him in the wall. Goes for the mid option. Yeah, power crush. Oh, goes for another one that was so smart off the stature kick. Lucky Chloe Power Crush is so good. Power Crush again with Punish. He's close to the wall though. Oh, oh dead. that's gonna hit. Yeah. And that's gonna kill. Get the Jess frame? No, he didn't get it. Bing. But not necessary. Yeah, no need. To kill. Round, two. Round one for Stylo DX Lucky Chloe. John Ding has not been going to this character recently, so this might be the only Lucky Chloe we get to see here this weekend. One, two. 
And I haven't I haven't been in the Tekken scene for that long, but I did ask around about some of the Malaysian players. Yep. And I heard that Stylo DX is actually one of the best uh, Alisa players really? in Malaysia. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Yeah, that that's what those those kind of people do, man. They like uh, Lucky Chloe and Alyssa and uh, Eliza. Like the they just want to play all the waifus and stuff. <laughs> Down for one, down for one. Ash is fighting back. He spent his rage already, but he's just chipping away. Nice. nice block. And then chips him out with a low. Man, Ash is working on that. But Silo with the clutch block closes it out. 2 0. A bit unexpected, though. I thought Arslan was going yeah. to win this. I mean, Arslan is definitely good, but Silo is surprisingly good as well. Maybe it could be, it could be the element of surprise. I mean, we haven't seen a lot of Lucky Boy players. Yeah, this character is considered, you know, bottom tier. Everyone likes to say that, but this is Tekken. Tiers are not that important. Down forward one, chopping away. Round four. Fight. Flies away and boom, just running in there, yeah. Out of the air. Yeah, you don't get a lot of damage off the float conversion, but you do get that wall push. You know, running to him just like that. Arson has him right where he wants him. Now Stylo DX. Yeah, he looks lost on defense. Yeah, getting beat up. Yep. Arslan with a huge life lead, not really doing much. Doesn't really have to commit to anything. Yeah, really just down foot one. Taking his time, but then Stylo slowly yeah. chipping away. It's like, I'm gonna hit you eventually with this. I'm not gonna stop doing it. Down foot one, down foot one. Fight. Running it back, two rounds, so final round, game one. Hop kick punish. Good awareness. Chloe's got two different hop kicks. He's ready with that one. Oh, interrupts him. Snatch a kick counter here. Just getting mauled right now. Sidestep. 1-1-2 one, one, punish. Murder. Three rounds in a row. Arslan warmed up. He was able to adapt real quick before even the first match finished. Yeah, Stylo. He seems very, very good. You know, solid on offense, but once he has to block, he's just he's Yeah, cracks. he was just pressing back. Just cracks. Not really knowing when to block low, when to block mid. So you said he also plays Alyssa? There it is. Yeah, he's Goes going for Alyssa. Alyssa. Alyssa, if I had to rate him, is a better waifu than Lucky Chloe. <laughs> even though she's a robot. But you know, Alyssa is actually pretty hard to play at a higher level. Because she's very, she's very poke heavy. Yep. She doesn't really have a lot of good lows. And you gotta really, you gotta be real patient when you're playing her. Yep, you have to definitely. And she plays with that 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 was it range two range two that that mid range out of poke range so she can fly in there with a slide whenever she wants. But unfortunately, we're going to precipice of face, which is a smaller stage. I know when Chanel plays Alyssa, he always wants to get the the endless stages, ah, give him right. all the spaces he can have. Because Alyssa has a very good sight, a very good movement. Round one. Let's see. The Lucky Chloe did not pay off. You're going to do something to Alyssa? What do you got? Okay, we do interaction there. Both players get off on skate. Rocket kick. You see both of them starting to go with the, the tracking moves here. Trying to seal that sidestep option. Another tracking. Another tracking. Okay. Just do it. Yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, a lot of the Kazumi players here actually going for more uh, sidestepping and whiff punishing uh, kind of uh, gameplay. So maybe that's what Stylo DX is just trying to expose. He's trying to use the homing moves to catch them when they're sidestepping. What the hell? He did not mean to jump there, but it worked out. Goes for the low this time. Yeah, you see Ash trying to recognize too. He's not sidestepping. He's sticking with the back dash, keeping it 2D. But it's not working. Get wall splatted. Oh, nice duck. Yeah, get a little bit of extra damage from the rage, but he still has a way to go here. No duck. KO. And Stylo DX getting that round. round three. Yep, that's good. Trying to reclaim the momentum. Ash had won four in a row. Never feels good as a player. Float into nothing. Now Arslan Ash playing more uh, 2D in a 2D plane. <laughs> yeah, he got sealed. He got that option sealed off in the beginning. But he's looking good right now. Silo the one's on his side step. Able to avoid it. Gets the punish. Oh, gets full strength. 
Nash doing a good job. Yeah, sidestepping back, trying to make sure. Style is one with his back to the wall. Rage oh, drive hits. Rage dead. Drive. Out of nowhere, the blue stuff. The blue stuff. 2 1. But he was up He was up in game 1, too. Nice block. Bit late on the punish, but still gets a second hit. And the homie move catches him. Stops. Yeah, that was good. You got a little damage, but then you got your back to the wall. Style will unable to jail him, unable to keep him there, and just like that little micro side something from Ash, getting positioning, locking him in position, and now it's match point. Yo, Pakistan, these guys know how to play. Screw. Plus frames after that. Satcha Kick City. Oh, donkey punch back of the head. Arsenal with a huge life lead. Yeah, he's looking very, very confident right now. Yeah, and Stylo still out of rage. No extra damage just yet. Float? Wow, that weird angle. Wow, wow. What the hell happened? I don't know. Rage up got interrupted, and Pakistan moving on. Arslan takes it two to nil. Yeah, he's trying to join uh, his fellow countrymen, not his teammate. Balil's on a different team. Wait, are they? Is this losers bracket? No, I don't think so. I think this is just uh, like a new pool in oh, the winners bracket. Yeah. All right, what's up, guys? We are back here at VX Scene 2018. I'm Juna, joined with the up and coming. Tekken commentator, superstar, Valerie. What's up? How are you liking this event? Uh, I'm really enjoying it actually, but then, yeah, this is my first time being out of Indonesia for a Tekken tournament. Mm -hmm. So I apologize, I'm really nervous. I don't be nervous. <laughs> they stream monsters, these guys are harmless, they don't say anything. Yeah, but it's nothing it's but kind positivity of from the chat, always. I've got a bad case of jitters actually, like the Show first your hand. time. Not really shaking that much. But then if you could hear my heart beating. Oh no. Terrible. She is nervous, guys. Be nice. I ain't doing a good job. We got Nobi sitting up though. Yeah, we're only going to top eight today. So I was looking through the bracket yesterday. There's gonna be some upsets. I guess I guess um Love Need is out. Love but, Need is out. Yeah, yeah. I mean only two people can make it out of the pools, right? All so right. there were three killers. He was out. He lost to uh, Dion Gray from Australia. Uh, so Dion's making Yeah, top eight. Dion's in losers there. Uh, we're going to probably see a couple more eliminations before the day is over of like good players. Because only eight can make it to tomorrow. But this is one player who I do not think is going to be eliminated here. Is yeah, Mr. Nobi. I don't think Nobi is I'm going to be eliminated. Expect to see him in top eight tomorrow. Winner side. No, I haven't seen him uh, that much in tournaments. Just recently, actually. I, I didn't. I, I wasn't. I didn't even expect him to come to Abugat Cup. Yeah, so that is the, the lore of the Tekken World Tour is that the season started and Japan was missing. Uh, Japan yeah, did yeah, not indeed. travel. They did not travel to the first like month or two. They missed a lot of opportunities, a lot of potential points. They just were just missing. the Koreans dominating Yep, everything. the Koreans going everywhere. But then yesterday in Abugat Cup, it was, it was quite surprising actually. We had a lot of Koreans as well. Mm -hmm. We had Forsan, we had John Ding. Uh, but then like when we made it to top eight everyone in the winners brackets there wasn't a single korean in the winners brackets oh yeah it was the three japanese right yeah, three and, japanese yeah, and, book. and book yep we yeah. only had we had three koreans in the losers brackets but then they even uh, they were uh, quickly eliminated in the beginning of the the top eight okay, lohai lost to you yamasa you mm -hmm. lohai lost to yamasa yeah, i mean the japanese players are very very strong that's why it was. everyone's wondering, where are they? Where are they? But they're out now. So he's going up against yo, BGC level 100. This guy hit the max. So this is a local player. He's from on Team FV, apparently. The Flash Vision. They're the organizers of this event. That's what the FV Cup stands for. And Nobi picking Dragonoff this time. I the thought drag. he was going to stick with Steve throughout the whole tournament. Yeah, it might be a matchup. It might be he feels Dragonoff's better against Katarina. It might be that he just wants to make sure he has both characters ready to go. Warmed up. Backswing low interrupted. Yeah. I got murdered. Guys, if you watch my stream, you know what happened to me. <laughs> I got hit by like 32 backswing blows against Dragonoff. Good interrupt. And there's the knife. This is what we were talking about last time. Gets the throw. Yeah, no, no floor break though. Oh, floor break. we do get one with this one. Oh, that is so cheap. Brian gets that too. Yeah. 
down there to take it. Down two. Yeah, that's the thing about, you know, the stage, you gotta make sure you abuse, it is cheap, right? A lot of characters get a lot of really busted stuff with the floor break, so you have to use it. You have to use it before they do. Otherwise, you're gonna eat that. Bar fight into 60%. I'm not sure about Katarina, but I think her Rage Drive also does a lot of damage here in this kind of, in this stage in particular. Gato gets interrupted by the sprint. Got Rage. Boom, there it is. Do it again. No, just that floor break, you're dead. Doesn't even need it. Yeah, the bar fight does a lot more damage. It's actually a really high damaging throw. Two high damaging, in a row. good positioning, floor break, has everything. So I think Sobot picks him up, floor break again. Bring him to the wall. And a counter hit. Yeah, but a sidewall, unfortunately, GTM unable to get a combo. Come on, Malaysia? Malaysia hasn't been a, a force yet today. Do something, take, take somebody out. Defend your home title. Boom, and running two, three rounds in a row. Nobi looking strong. Yeah, when I was in uh, Thailand, it was super hype because Book won that event. Yeah, and the a hometown lot of, hero. A lot of Thailand players, I think they did well as well. Yeah, it was really interesting. The crowd got behind it, but Malaysia, come on, guys. Nobi made a little bit of eye contact with the stream. He says, I see you stream monsters. Sub to my channel. Iskandar is something he does coaching in Japan. Oh, he's a Tekken. Is he a professional Tekken coach or something? Yeah, he does private. Yeah, yeah, like he does. If people want, they can book him. He will give private lessons. But he also does uh, just general like public coaching streams ah, on his channel. The point? Ugh. No, it froze during my favorite intro in the game. <laughs> So no character switch from uh, GTM. Yeah, Katarina players, man. That's all they can do. Play Katarina. I'm not sure, but I I heard that GTM actually plays Jack. Not Another Katarina. Jack? I mean, Jack hasn't been doing too well today. Maybe he's like, all right, let me stop. Switch things up a bit. Slicing so bad, gets in the rear, but yeah, not confident. Doesn't want to let it rip. Still able to close it out though. Man, everyone loves this stage. They say this is the best song in the game. I disagree, Stream Monsters. You guys are wrong. Power Crush, no. I thought the best song in the game was Hammerhead. Hammerhead's good, yeah. I like Abandoned Temple. It's my favorite. Ah, oh, Abandoned Temple. She's been doing a much better job of spacing out right now, but no breaks. Three for three on the bar fight. He hasn't been breaking any of those throws, actually, and that's fatal. One plus two. Just press it. KO. Round three. Bam. Bam, bam. Hop kick. This man been watching Obama stealing the tech. Show some snake edges. Running to knife. Life deficit, but nobody definitely can do this. Action blow. Punish. Might have been able to get more. I'm not sure, but still better than nothing. He's right coming. There it is. Do it again. No, let's the second part go. Break your leg. 50. Boom. Oh, not, not enough to kill just yet, but get close this around anyways. Punched her right in the Brazilian butt implants there. And now it's match point. Yamasa Nobi. Nice low carry. He's gonna get that wall too. Dragon off wall carry is huge. Yeah, I think it's even it's even better than Leo's. Yeah, it's like Leo, Lee, Dragonov, and Nina. Those are the big four to me. Boom. There it is. Obama. The Obama special. I think it's enough to kill. Oh, not yet. It doesn't yeah. get the last hit. Still though, killed yeah, at the wall, anything. but then closes the round anyways. Down four. Easy game for Nobi. Nobi and his illegal sniffing tool. GTM from FV from Malaysia dropping down into the losers. He's fine. He's having a good time. And most of this, these matches actually very one-sided the whole day. It's either very one-sided or it's just... Yeah, actually, I mean, it's just one -sided. that's what happens in pool play. So pool play day one, you know, this is... We just got to cut the facts. We got to cut the facts and get that top eight tomorrow and give you the good stuff, guys. I was hoping for more upsets because we had, we had plenty of upsets uh, in Indonesia. It was amazing. Like me, uh, me was actually sent to losers brackets early, early in the pools. By who? It wasn't by Mulgold. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mulgold, another Korean player, right? Korean player. Yep. Yeah. 
But guys, we are back here. We're gonna have is Olson sitting down? Oh shit, we got Olson against Pakistan now. So this should be a good match. Oh, so it's Kazumi Mirror? Kazumi Mirror Stream, tell me what do you like? You like Jack Mirrors or Kazumi Mirrors better? I don't know. I personally uh, don't really like mirror. Yeah, mirror no one does. I'm joking. These three monsters, <laughs> they hate it. They hate whenever they see Jack Jack, they start. Uh, there was a Jack Jack mirror, though, right? Yeah, yeah, earlier today. Dion Gray. Dion and uh, Love Neat. Love they did it. They did Jack off. <laughs> Love Neat, unfortunately, was eliminated, sent down, or sent west back into India. Dion is going to be here tomorrow. Because I'm Juna Joan with Valerie Fowler at, at back 1 4. That's cheap. <laughs> That's the the Leo move, huh? Yeah. Follow me at Juna JP if you want. If not, don't really care. But we're here running through day one. I think we are more than halfway done with Tekken. Am I right? Yeah, we're more than halfway done. Okay, yeah, so we are winding down with Tekken and trying to get you your top eight, which we'll do tomorrow on the big stage. After Tekken, we're gonna do Street Fighter. And we'll do Street Fighter, and if we have time after that, we might show some BB Tag. Show some Dragon Ball. We have a Philippine player. Alden is here from Philippines. Seo is not here. So I don't know who's the favorite here for Dragon Ball. You play that game at all? No, I don't really play Dragon Ball. Do you so watch Dragon Ball? Or is that past your time? Nah, is that before nah. your time? You watch like Naruto and stuff? Uh, what, are the, did, what are the did, kids like there. nowadays? <laughs> Boku no Hero, Academia, or something, I don't know. Darling in the, the Franks, is that what he's saying? I didn't watch that, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I don't, I don't really watch anime. What? No, I just play Tekken. Play Tekken, okay. That's good, I should be playing more Tekken as well. <laughs> yeah, just do it! You don't need to tell us, man. Why are you telling us that you're going to segue in their shot? <laughs> they don't need, like, uh... You gotta tell the players, guys, look good. Hey, players, <laughs> make sure, don't pick your nose. We're gonna segue over there. Nah, nah, nah. Bam, 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 bam. So we're gonna have Kazumi Mir here. In Howard Estate. Kazumi, Kazumi. Now, who got the, the black kimono? Because that's the way better costume. They're both really good, but... Yes. Ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Yes. What's this song called? California roll, miso soup, something. <laughs> Chopsticks. Soy, soy sauce. Soy sauce. So, Olsan going with the white Kazumi and Arslan. I just realized their names are pretty similar. Yeah, you're right. Olsan, yeah. Arslan. <laughs> Let me call him Ash. It'll be easier. Ash with the black, Olsan in the white here. Kazumi mirror. Olsan's got the life lead and he's got the, the pressure right now. He's turning it up. Ash is fighting back. So they both should be very familiar with the matchup, having main the character. Yeah, I think everyone, I think every good player is familiar with Kazumi because she's not tricky, right? It's very straightforward. Yeah, she wins by just outplaying, outplaying and using her powerful poke. So, I think uh, sidestepping and uh, whiff punching is very vital using Kazumi. Uh oh, poking as well, very fundamental character. He doesn't really have a lot of setups as well. One more. Arslan one hit away, one mix up away, and yep, there it takes is. it with the uh, block punish. Wow. Yeah, block the stature punish. Yeah, Ash was behind, but he made it, made the comeback. In his last match too, he was behind a lot, just making the comebacks. He does not, uh, does not crack. Showing off that Pakistani mental fortitude. Well, this, well, what I'm seeing here right now, uh, Kazumi play. They're both not really going for anything fancy. They're both just really poking at each other, keeping things simple. Not going for anything too fancy, no setups. Man, that was a weird ass combo. Brought him to the wall, then brought him away from the wall. I uh, see Ash, can you make another comeback? Two in a row? That's oh, gonna wow. hurt! That's gonna hurt a lot! Gonna put Olsan in rage. Boom! Olsan still has a chunk of health oh, out of the air. He floated. He went for the fly. That was a weird, it was a point blank fly. Olsan's Maybe he was trying to go jab. for the mix up. And now Arslan returning the favor, jabbing him out of the fly stance. Good duck. Well, standing punish here from Olsan. Magic 4, and yes, he's not going to drop that. Oh, Never mind. It. That's the power of commentary, you gotta learn. Whatever you say, the opposite happens. <laughs> Whatever you say, the opposite happens. Makes you look dumb. Uh, that happened to me too yesterday. 
I was saying a lot of stuff and then it actually came through and I was like, oh god. <laughs> One plus two at the wall and then kicks her while she's down. And yo, Pakistan is up. 2-1. Are there any Pakistan team spooky subs in the chat right now? Make some noise for your boy Arslan Ash. I wonder if, ha if it has a meaning, Ulsa and Arslan, and if it relates to Kazumi in any way, because like, they're both using Kazumi and they both have similar names. They might be a fan, you never know. Could just be a fan of Ulsa and watch his videos, and now he's here to beat his ass. <laughs> he's at the life, he's up 2-1 to one right now. Good play, Chan away the leg. Oh, so, nice duck on the high. This is not good for Olsan. A down forward will do it. A statue kick will do it. I feel a comeback away. coming. Starting. Plus frames. Nice micro oh, sidestep, and he's dead. And he's dead. Boom. Say ya. Uh. All right, 2-2. Two, two. It's the power of the commentator. Yes. Ash was unable to make the close, uh, unable to close out the game. And now we're going to final round, game one. Olsen just staying patient there. Uh -huh. We got one wall break though, so the, the room got a little bit bigger, he got more space to work with. And both players just using that movement, sidestepping a lot. Nice break on the throw. Don't touch his kimono. Hit even on life. Plus frames again, down four. Uh oh. Olsan now with the life lead. Yeah, you see the momentum slowly starting to slide over to Olsan's side. He's doing a great job of interrupting, interrupting Ash. Gets a magic four to the wall. I think this Send is that, enough to Yeah, kill. it is definitely. Pop, pop, pop. What? One plus two? Send that tiger. Why does it do so much damage? Ash thinking to himself. Oh, oh, wait a second. Going with character select. Character select, huh? Did you see him play any other characters nope. yesterday? No? Just Kazumi? He's gonna do Jack, probably. No, oh. yeah, he just wanted to break. Just wanted to think things through. And we're going to my favorite stage, Abandoned Temple. Yeah, Pakistan is uh, no joke, huh? Yeah, it was uh, it was a really close match actually, but Olsan able to close things out, able to come out on top. Yeah, that's the difference is is the closer, right? The closer. It's easy. A lot of people can get close, but if you can't actually finish it, close out the round. It doesn't mean anything. Event Hub's not going to write that article about you almost beat he almost beat this guy, you almost beat that guy. You have to actually make the upset happen. Round one. Game two on the best stage. Olsan in the black. That's what he did, you see? So Ash went in the character select and mashed on it first so he could get the default costume. He likes the white. Another low poke here from Olsan. Three in a row. Both just poking at each other. Yeah, that's how Kazumi like mirrors work. Ashlan getting the counter at four. Iki so much damage. Iki Nasai up. It's so easy to just press two buttons. Side step down for him, but again, it's what we saw in the last game. Ash with the advantage, but Olsan made comeback after comeback. Not this time, though. Kicks his ass while he's on the ground. Game two, round one. Ash. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, he was he playing very compactly, actually. Yeah, it was good though. He, he kept going for the fly stance for the mid, for the double palm, and that time he said, you know what, I'm just going high. Now Olsan working on that perfect. This hand song is good. There it is. A little disrespect right back at you. Hit the dead body one round apiece here. Man, this song is good. This is the best song, but then you gotta go the final round. That ruins. Patch that out. I also really like how how the color scheme here. It's really, really, it's just beautiful. It's just an orange, a soft orange glow. Best stage, beautiful stage for this beautiful match right now. As Olsan is starting to maybe get a, a read on Ash's timing. Plus frames again. Nice. Beautiful sidestep. Yeah, he's, he's getting a lot of these sidesteps, but uh, just jab punish. It adds up, but man, we'll see some some wild boy stuff. Besides he the down really for two or something. Too much, yes, yeah. Yes. Good drive, good. Nice patience here, waiting for it to come out. You don't get hit by that. Left. Say yeah. Beautiful. Ash up two one in game two. 
This is what happened last time, though. This is when Olsan made the comeback. He's shown he can hang with the best. Both players from Pakistan shown they were able to take out Olsan. But can you do it in tournament? That is the question. Nice roll to avoid it. And a counter at four. A bit too far, unfortunate. Arslan getting the hop kick. Gets a spike from that range. Wow. Punch while he down. Spring kicks out. Ooh, oh, double no. float. Olsan with one pixel of life yet. Oh. <laughs> Again with the comeback, Olsan. Yeah, that was beautiful. Did the running two and then just waited. Did nothing. Running two, pause, saw the whiff button, whiff punish. Match point here for Olsan from Korea. I think Olsan is the, the favorite. The stream monsters probably expect Olsan to win, but Ash is hanging in there. They're both just running at each other. Not really running. Could interrupt the jab right here. One low poke. He's going in one jab at a time. Yeah, this match has just been jab city, right? Just pokes, pokes, pokes. But then double. Yo, float, hell sweep, hell sweep. Down forward one, down forward one. There it is. We're tied up one game apiece. He's I looking back. He's yelling, give me water. He just yelled. Man, that was a, that was a big dog play. He waved the water bottle very threateningly. Said, Give me another water bottle. <laughs> so is Olsan going to pick another character? Checking the inputs. Kazumi Sticking with Kazumi. So they're waiting. We're taking a little little breather right now. As they're running to find him a water bottle, I think. He's looking. He said, yo, can I borrow his water? He just asked the guy in Malaysia if he can drink his water. <laughs> wow. Now that is tech and community, baby. We're all friends here. We share water bottles. Yeah, yeah, pass it around. Oh, Let's go. Wow. Let me get some of that. Man, I could get all their genes. I could be the best Tekken player in the world. I'm collecting top player DNA. Kazumi Mishima. I could learn how to sidestep. Just give me that water bottle, bro. They didn't get the best way. They, did, they didn't give it back to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They both took it. They both drank it. And then they just, they're like, this is ours now. So here we go. Game three. Of course, Kazumi versus Kazumi. They're not changing. Brimstone and fire. This is still winner's side here. So someone's going to go. Uh, the other player from Pakistan, Balil, is in top eight on the loser's side. I'm pretty sure this is probably winner's finals of their pool. I'm pretty sure the winner here is going to make it into the winner's side tomorrow. So whoever wins this is going to be in top 8? I think. I'm, I'm guessing. If I get confirmation, but that's, that's my guess. Say so yeah, running 2 from Olsan. We've got another change of costume now. So Olsan back in the white. Arsan Ash in the black. Again, they're both just yeah. poking away, trying to sidestep each other. Yeah, that is how this match is going to go. Nice with Punish there with the down 4-1. Down for one, two, let it rip. 50% gone just from pokes. Yeah, but Ash is fighting back now. Pokes of his own. Goes for the lows. No, I don't think a lot of people actually favor this kind of match, this kind of play style. It takes it takes patience, of course. It, it requires patience. You can't really go in for the big stuff. You just gotta be really you gotta really? You gotta be patient and also not duck. Round not two. duck when he's got Rage Drive. Round one goes to Olsan. My heart stopped for a second there. Yeah, the Rage Drives in this game are awesome. The sound effect, the gate drop, as Stacey C likes to say. The gate drop. Yeah, it makes Tekken a lot more watchable for even players who don't, yep. who don't really understand how to play Tekken. Nice jab pressure from Olsan. Kind of use a tracking move. A lot of these micro sidestepping going on. Trying to do the tracking here to prevent it. Jab, jab. We have punish here. Both plays one hit away from Rage. One launcher All right. kill. Olsan maybe took that. He said, yo, hit me. Jab me, jab me. I want to be in Rage again. Both players in Rage now. First one to fire is Ash. Yep, 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 yep. So now the fear, the fear of the Rage Driver is there, which means that Ash is going to be standing up. So Olsan starts going low. That's the meta. Both players, one real clean hit away from dying. Nine seconds left. Oh, he bet it! Live and die by the hell sweep. Yes, he bet everything on that. He played so patient the whole time, and then that's how you throw the round away. 
See, that's what Sun. I was talking about. When you when you play characters like Kazumi, the moment you get impatient, it's yeah. gonna cost you a lot. Say yeah, say yeah, say yeah. Three running twos in a row here from Olsan. Another one. Just do it. That move is so good. Five of them. Six of them. Let's go. Little duck. Instant while standing punish right here. Snatch a kick. All right. Ash is in trouble, but he can do this. He's got position. He's got the rage. He's still alive. Yeah. Slowly fighting back. He's making his comeback. I'm trying to be more patient. Three. First one. Right back. Okay. Rage is out now. Fair and square. Poke City. There's one. Oh, no. The down forward one. Osan cheering. Good game. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, beautiful confirm on the down forward one. Let the second hit rip. They're discussing something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ash probably not happy with that, but he's not out. He's still in. He's got a chance to make it to tomorrow's top eight. Osan taking a breather there. Yeah, that was good. He won three rounds. So the last game he won three rounds in a row, but it, they're very close rounds. Could have gone either way. <laughs> Who's water? Huh? Olsan is? Olsan, oh, Today? Right. Yes. Oh, no. So that's brutal. So we're going to take a break. But after that, guys, we're going to have Olsan from Korea and then Yamasanobi from Japan in the winner's finals. And then the loser of that is going to go fight against Ash, the Kazumi player we just saw. But before that, we're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. Domino's, give me some food. Ugh. What the heck is this? <laughs> Hi right, guys.
king of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Alright, we are back here guys at FVX Scene 2018. We're winding down with Tekken Day 1. And Juna joined with the superstar from Indonesia. Valerie, what's up? Hi. How's it going? Uh, well, it's been going great. Uh, I'm enjoying myself. Mm -hmm. I really am. But Getting used to it? Yeah, still still kind of jittery. Sometimes I get, I get so... Really? We don't even have time to introduce Valerie? The match is on now? Then ah. switch it over. All right, then. Yeah, I lied, too, by the way, stream. I, I said Nobi Olsan, but I think that's next. I think before we go there, we're going to play this, which is Losers? Yeah, this is losers. the Losers? Losers from the third pool, uh, Artek versus Azaba. Okay, yeah, Artek is the, the player from Indonesia you talked about, right? Yes, yes, he is. And he's going with King this time. Yeah, he does play King uh -huh. as well. Oh, yeah, Zaba is the guy... I, I, you weren't here for this match. Zaba fought against Take. Oh, really? He almost beat Take. It was kind of funny, but... Ugh. Yeah, I've heard that Zaba's one of the best in Malaysia. I guess. Uh, he, he went together with Take. Very questionable decisions, but it paid off. But here we go. I guess we have one of the best in Malaysia against one of the best in Indonesia. Country battle right now. So Artek going with King. He doesn't really uh, use King that often in tournaments, actually. Sometimes yeah. he's not that confident, but I guess he's trying. To, uh, he's thinking that he's not really doing well with Jack today. Yeah, all the Jack players have been uh, kind of falling down there. I think Dion's the only one who made it to the top eight. I don't know. I mean, let's the third hit of that string rip. Sidestep, but no punish. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. He's playing talking, just doing raw dog death fist. He did like seven of them in a row. This guy does not care. Artek getting beaten down. Yeah, if he loses, we might see a, a character change, and it looks like he's losing pretty bad right now. Yeah, this is, you know, this is very uh, weird one. to me, because, like, most of the time, I see Artek beating everyone yeah. in Indonesia. That's what happens, right? That's what people, everyone thinks they're, they're hot stuff. You have to go outside of your neighborhood, right? All these Tekken moms, I see you guys in the chat, you're all, I'm the best Nina, man. No, you have to go out of your basement. You gotta see the world. So that was three straight three rounds. quick rounds, too. From Zaba. Yeah, and Zaba got beat up by Take. So it's about levels here. But yeah, going back to that Jack, the one you're talking about. Marlo, I see you, 42 months. Look at Spooky. That lazy man, Spooky. He's asleep right now in New York. Wearing some Tims. We're out here in Malaysia on his channel, grinding away. So we're going the precipice of fate. The Jack pick. Is it going to pay off? Is he going to regret it? Even trying King. King didn't do anything. Well, our tech actually plays Paul as well, so she should know a thing or two about how to face him. But apparently, 
uh, Zaba still able to uh, dominate. Yeah, I think Zaba's drunk. He, this guy just go <laughs> does not care. Yeah, he's been going like really just all out. Yeah, just all offense, just smothering Artek. Boom, 4-2 count hit. Gets the rocket boot after there. Yeah, Artek trying to slow it down. You can't stop this guy. Yeah, he fought against... Yeah, there we go. See, he doesn't care. It was a horrible punish. Yeah, he, he could have down for it too. Yeah, he could have gone a long yeah. time of that. But Zaba just... Oh but my god, I told you this guy is drunk. Just going in with a death list. No fear. Nobi, Nobi, Chan Ding, and Taki are behind him laughing. They're watching. They're, they're like, oh my god. Oh my god, he gets it. Yo, the death list doesn't reach. Oh my god. Just Death the City here. Another one. Yeah, if you can't stop him, right? If you can't sidewalk, if you can't sidestep, you can't punish it. I'm not sure Jack can punish it. You're gonna have to watch one of those Twitter experts. Definitely gonna punish the one when he had his back to the wall. Zabu let a couple of them rip. So Zabu's already up five rounds zero against Artek. And gets the grab. Commander roll. Get in there, keep some pressure. Death Fist incoming. 3, 2, 1. Do it. No. Oh, nice stuff. He could have gotten something more out of that. And okay. a debug. Slowly chipping away here. Can't count Zaba out yet, though. Yeah, this guy shows he doesn't care. And he's got the rage as well. I think one combo would be enough to... But unfortunately, he doesn't get it. I take this jabbing away, poking away. Gets finally on the board. Slows down the momentum. Yeah, he's he's a pretty uh, slow, slow-paced character as well. Zaba playing real quickly, and Artek just trying to slow things down, trying to get momentum on his side. No interrupt there on the back two-one. Low parry. Okay, he's starting to recognize the strings here. Death fist run in there. Commander roll. We're going to the wall. 50-50 city. What the hell was that? Doesn't get the death fist follow up. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. That was definitely not a combo. Artek doing death fist of his own right now. These guys are pissed. No respect. Oh, he went oh, for he a grab. Went for a yeah, grab. he's dead. Yeah, that's good. I mean, Zaba has never not attacked. Right? This guy's just been holding forward, pressing buttons. Use that arm on the Rage Art to, to kind of slow him down here. Two rounds apiece, game two. Another counter hit. Yeah, gets a follow-up this time, too. Oh, he Super win. punch, yeah. And Artek just looking at him like a deer in the headlights. Nice okay, duck while standing four. He's got the corner position here. Double rocket punch after that string. No break again on that throw. It's not looking good. Not looking good for our hero from Indonesia. Might be break his neck. <laughs> got him. Look at that. Artek laughing. He knows. He's laughing at himself. He lost. He's laughing. He's he like, I can't believe I just lost to that. Like, he's known for that in Indonesia, actually. He's known for just laughing at every situation. He got beat up by Zaba. So that is the losers. So Indonesia officially out. Meat, yeah. meat is out. Artek is out. Very Valerie's awesome. still in on the commentary, doing the mics. <laughs> but the players are gone. There was actually another Indonesian player, also one of the top players, but I think he's out as well. Yeah, there are a couple killers in here. Speaking of, like right there, there's one right now. Yamasa Nobi, and he is going up, I think, against Olsan. So Japan versus Korea. Is yes. this the first Japan versus Korea match here? Of the day, yes. Ah. Of the day, yes. Tomorrow we're gonna have a lot more. Yes, there's Olsan stepping up. Yeah, we have behind them. You see, everyone's friends here. John Ding is sitting back there. Take is sitting back there. So we're gonna see these guys all fight it out tomorrow. But this is critical right here. I think everyone expected, you know, Olsan and Nobi to make top 8, but unfortunately they're going to meet in pools, so someone's going to be in the winner's side tomorrow, someone's going to be in the loser. Nobi What is he doing? His is hands. he, is he praying? Know. I think he's just tired. Put the thing in your nose, Nobi. The inhaler? He, oh, he listened he, oh. to me. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was going <laughs> to pull If he did it, I would have been sick. Well, he's trying to figure out the HyperX headsets here, controlling the volume, make sure you can hear all the game sound. So Nobi, uh, he went with Steve first and then Dragonov. He's got a Fang as well. Ah, uh, right. He's got a Fang as well. But he hasn't been using it, actually. Just going back and forth with Steve and Dragonov. Yeah, Olsan only been showing the Kazumi. 
So I'm pretty sure Nobi knows what is Mac. No surprises here. He can choose which one he wants to go with. Steve? Gonna fight back the pokes with pokes as well. Here we go. Chat, who do you like? Korea or Japan? I think Nobi is the... Even though the Roma, I think, is the strongest, I think Nobi is the most well-known. Oh, yeah, put it in your nose. <laughs> Clearing the airways, maximum oxy oxygen flow to the brain to make those quick decisions here in the match. But yeah, I think Nobi is the most well-known. He won EVO, he won the Tekken uh, Global Finals. Yeah, he but he's only leader. been stepping up recently, actually. Yeah, he had a, like a rough patch, but he's been getting better and better this year. The different character picks have been paying off. But how's he going to do against Olsan? Of course, Nobi's training partner, Take, the best Kazumi player in Japan. So he's very, very comfortable in this matchup, I'm sure. Of course, there's always that. Uh, I remember the last time when uh, JDCR lost against, uh, was it Naroma? Yeah. Yeah, Naroma was using yep, Jack, Jack as well in the TVT Korea. Then he lost. The reason he lost to Naroma was because he was so used to fighting against Saint. Saint, yep. And Naroma took advantage of that and changed up his timing. Yep, and his Tekken. Very timing based, you know, very pattern. You gotta be able to read the patterns and tendencies. So, Nobi's off the good start, but also made the comeback very clean. Chopping away, just like we saw in the earlier Kazumi matches with Olsan. He's not a flashy player, doesn't take a lot of risks. Desperately trying to back away, but Nobi's staying on top of him here. One, two, three, four. To the wall we go. Good block on the step. Another low poke, and then the wall standing one there. Nobi takes it. Getting a little hiccups here on stream, but as long as you guys understand what's going on, it's all good. Good interrupt there from Nobi trying to slow down that Kazumi pressure. Whee! Gets the counter hit. Yeah, out of the running too. First time I've ever seen that move beat. Swain away, trying to make it so Olsan has his back to the wall. So both of them just trying to chip away slowly. Yeah, but you definitely see Olsan is the one, you know, he's going back. Nobi's the one going forward. Yes. It's a game of cat and mouse right now. Oh, yeah, oh, wow. he's dead. One, two, three, do it again. No, just going for the pro combos here. And Nobi was going for that uh, backswing. Yeah, her rage is very good. Leads to that big damage combo and safe on block and does chip damage. Very fast mid. He's been doing it every every round pretty much. Olsan has rage. He's going to let it rip. He's not saving it. So Nobi now in rage. Yes, yeah, his rage drive is not the best, but he can definitely make use of that extra damage. Trade no good. 3 to 1. You win. Petting her kitty. Olsan up 1 0. Nobi nodding to himself. Cax Slack. Okay. Okay, so we're going with Dragonoff this time. We could be. I, 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 I'd bet on Dragonoff as well, but Welcome could be Fang. Might just be. Tournament seven. He is feeling a certain type of way. He's been inhaling some, some substance. I don't know what it is. Changing the, the audio cables here. Could be Steve again. Who knows? Maybe he just wanted to take a break. It is! You want to change his costume. So Nobi now locked in with the Steve Fox picks. He cannot change. He's got to win two in a row against Olsan. Well, this is a bit surprising because what I saw from Abu Get Cup, when Nobi, uh, Nobi seemingly was, uh, when he was in, on the losing side, he would instantly change the Dragon off, like when he was up against Ni nee and Lohai, I think. He might be taking a page out of Ni's nee's book. Where once you lock in, you, just, you just stick with that character for that set. The stubbornness, I don't know. 3-1. to one. It wasn't a total blowout. He had a chance a couple of those rounds, but let's see. Where's my free? That's why I need some damn dominoes. I've been eating all day. And a hop kick. Yeah, this is winner's finals, guys. The winner of this making top 8 tomorrow. Kina Sai, 1 plus 2 punish right here. Interrupt on the Albatross spin and then Nobi with the low parry. We can get the wall? No. And Nobi's still going bravely, still going offensively. Not afraid of what happened, not letting what happened before get to him. <laughs> oh, it's a nodding. Round 
the point blank out. rage drive. Yeah, just get jabbed out of there. Yeah, I think like you said, Nobi has to go for it though. Yeah, it's his. It's he his playstyle. He has to go for it. He's got pokes, but you know you can't out poke because not with this character. You gotta pick Jack or somebody if you wanna do that. But as far as I know, Nobi has been nice known as a very offensive player. So I'm back to the wall, just swinging his way out. Oh, oh my, my god. god, you're dead. He just stood there in the peekaboo yeah. step for I don't know how long. I don't know what he was thinking. This is not Hajime no Ippo. That does not work. Rage Drive will beat that every time. One round apiece. Round stop power crush? Maybe Old Sun starting to figure out Nobi is an aggressive player like you said. Trying to use the armor moves here. Use the system mechanics to his advantage. Damn, from downtown with that counter poke. Magic 4 again. This time he gets the full combo. Ikina Sai run in there. Uh oh! Ooh. That could have been worse. Yeah. That could have been the end. Last second, another yeah. rage drive. God damn! He's making it look like Kazumi's Rage Drive is the best in the game. He's got like a 95% hit uh, ratio with that thing. And even if you block, he's still fine. Soon enough, people are going to be asking to nerf Kazumi. I think they are. They are. They're already trying to get rid of this guy. Oh! He crushed the jab with a, a overhead punch. That's it. It's a tackle. Okay, yeah. No break here from Olsan. Good damage from Nobi. Nobi Second. in danger now. Yep, he's in a lot of trouble. And oh. that's it again. Beat up. Two straight rounds. That's two straight matches from Osan. Yeah, beat up there. Nobi believing in this, Steve. Osan, a little mini pop off. Osan looked. So he fought against this this player that could barely press a button. And after he Osan won, he held his chest like he was very nervous. <laughs> <sighs> And uh, after fighting Nobi, Nobi, he's like, yeah, whatever. That was free. <laughs> yeah, whatever. No problem. But yeah, Osan moving on top eight winners tomorrow. Nobi's still in. He's going to fight... Um, Pakistan. Yeah, he's going to fight the Pakistan Kazumi. Ash was his name. But yeah, guys, we are here chilling at FEX Scene 2018. At, I don't even know what this venue is called. <laughs> it's cool. It's like a big esports two-story arena. It's a what arena? Battle Arena. Battle Arena Malaysia. B A M. Bam. Just like in Australia. But I'm Juna Joe with Valerie. Back 1 4. We are here giving you tech in action. After this, I think it's Street Fighter? Or they might have been running Street Fighter off stream. We have no idea. But I hope you guys are enjoying the action wherever you are. What do you think of these matches? Better than Abigail Cup? Worse? Uh, I couldn't watch. I was flying. I don't want to sound rude, but I think Get Cup had more interesting matches. During there the pool matches, of, yeah, yeah, a lot of clutches, a lot of because we had we had a lot more uh, foreign players uh -huh. coming in. We had we had rocks. We okay, had Ross, the rocks Chanel, teams were there. Yes, yeah, yeah. Chanel and me. We had Forsan. All three of them actually. Uh, Cherry Berry Mango. That was just a challenger event too, right? Yeah, it was just yeah. a challenger event, and we had the Amasa. All three of the Amasas. Uh, they came and uh, Philippines. I think we had some players from the Philippines, two players from Thailand, and uh, some Singaporeans as well. Some even from yeah. the uh, from Europe. Actually. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. I don't get because it was just a challenge. I don't get the decision making behind players traveling. Yeah, because like Indonesia, Malaysia, like you said, it's only two hours apart. It's not that far. Maybe people just want to break. Yeah, I don't know. Traveling every week is rough. I was pretty surprised as well when I saw the lineup. We had so many good players coming in. Yeah, I wish I could have been there. Unfortunately, I was in America, but we are here in Malaysia now. Today's match has been pretty good, but tomorrow we'll have we're, we're setting up for the top eight. Tomorrow we're gonna have we got Take John Ding over there. Nobi is not in top eight yet. He's gonna win one more. We got Bilal from Pakistan. Um, Dion Gray from Australia made it up there. Olsan from Korea. We just saw. No local talent though. They all got yeah, beat up. None, none of the Malaysians. Pretty bad. Wait, wasn't Zaba in? Zaba just made it. Zaba made it. The guy oh, that just that played? Yeah. On he th he made top eight losers? Right? That he Paul player? I think so. Was that losers final Susan? Was it? I could have made top eight in this <laughs> tournament if I entered? Is that what you're telling me? The death fist out of control, Paul. Yeah, I think I think that was losers final. Might have been. We'll see. So we have one Malaysian, probably one. we have one. That was? 
Oh my god. Alright, so we have one, the Malaysian Paul. One the Death Fist Paul. Machine. The guy just letting it rip wherever he feels like it. He made top 8 out here. But we got one more match. I don't know what the uh, they're doing. We gotta kill time. Uh, uh, player one in the bathroom, so we're killing some time here. How about you, Stream Monsters? Again, if you guys are watching, like I said, and you don't sub to Spooky's channel, you can't talk in the chat. Use the hashtag, which is not on there, but it's hashtag FVXSEAM2018. So FVXSEAM2018. Let us know how you're feeling. Is Valerie wearing a Joy Division shirt? Are you wearing a Joy Division shirt? Yes. Yes. I, <laughs> I got that same shirt. Oh, really? Kinda. I got one from H&M. Yeah, so, uh, this is Loser's Finals of that pool. Nobi versus Arsan Ash from Kuwait. Is this the last match of the day? Alright, this is your final Tekken 7 match of the day, guys. Tomorrow we're going to do Top 8 on the big stage. So we have Nobi up against another Kazumi player, Pakistan. Yeah. Chan Ding is IRL streaming, I think. <laughs> Nobi, I don't know. Nobi looking very uh, relaxed though. Yeah, I've, uh, I haven't seen him tense at all actually. Even when he was losing, he just seemed like... Eh. It's the damn thing he's putting in his nose, I don't know. But he's looking very relaxed, even though he's on the verge of drowning in pools. If he doesn't win this next match, he's out in pools, no points. Yeah, it would be such a great upset if Nobi were to lose and not make top 8. Let me do... While well, we got a break, where the heck is Nobi here? So I got the, the ranking. So John Ding is in winner side. He is in mm -hmm. third place on the Tekken World Tour. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Book. Book is in top eight winners, right? Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, so Book is number 13. Nobi, oh, Book and Nobi are tied. That's uh -huh, crazy. Book and Nobi are both tied for 13, but right now Book is guaranteeing himself more points by being just by being in the winner side. Uh, Nobi's 13. Take is in winner side, so he's in the 15. Dimeback is not here. Dimeback's not here, I knew. Alright, Dimeback's yeah. not here. But yeah, these guys are out here grinding. This is not like uh, the old days of the Capcom Pro Tour where you just win one premier event and you qualify. Ah. For Tekken, you gotta get points. So you have to travel out around the world. Some of these guys are okay, but like Take and Nobi, they're on the bottom cusp. They have to make sure they keep getting points. Otherwise, you know, some, some guy's gonna hop up there, take yeah. their spot. So if nobody loses here, you might be kind of upset. Zero <laughs> points for ninth place. Is it all Koreans up there on the top? Yep. Ah. Who is the highest place in Farner? Let's see. Me, right? I mean Farner, Farner. Yeah, Nia's number one. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> seven Koreans. And then Naroma is number eight. So Naroma ah. is uh, the Japanese, yeah. Naroma number eight right there. But yeah, I love the Tekken World Tour. We get all these every week. It's almost like every week we have an event now. And oh, it yeah. gives the players, like, if there was no Tekken World Tour, these players would not be here. It would just be the local players. There's not a lot of incentive for these players to travel or the sponsors to send them out. But shout out to the Tekken World Tour year two. They've, they've done, like, the global tour, but oh, the yeah. actual Tekken World Tour is year two. It's getting better and better. We get new talent out here. We got Valerie holding down in Asia. <laughs> John Ding, look, he is live stream. Yeah, but I feel I feel kind of sorry for them though, because like we have a tournament in different regions and different uh, different countries every week now, and these players they have to travel a lot, yep. and that's that's uh, that's uh, most likely going to take such a huge toll on them. Yes, I I travel a lot too. I am exhausted. I think I just actually just today yeah. i think i finally got over the jet lag uh. i finally got like a solid uh eight hours of sleep yesterday i woke up feeling okay so it's good the thing about the players though is a lot of them have really messed up schedules uh, all they yeah. do is play games so like they don't act the jet lag doesn't affect them <laughs> there's foobar walking in the back he didn't see me <laughs> bgc representative future juna there hey guys we're killing time waiting for our son Ash to come back from the restroom so we can get your final Tekken 7 match of the day. You got in here last night? Yeah. So last you didn't have night. any time to enjoy Malaysia? No, not really. When are you leaving? Monday? Oh, I'm leaving Sunday night. Oh, really? Yeah, because I've got college on. Oh, really? Monday. Yeah. How old are you? 18. 18, so your first year of college? 
No, I'm in the, my last year, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. So, 18 tech and commentator. Man, when I was 18, what the hell was I doing? <laughs> Playing Guilty Gear and Marvel's Capcom 2 back then. Yeah, so, actually, I never really expected that I would be here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, last week you did commentary. A lot of people liked it. Yeah, I... I <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just gotta have fun with it. Yeah, that Enjoy was actually it. my first actual commentary. Mm -hmm. Uh, first actual, uh, actually, uh, the first time I actually commentated on a big, a large scale. Yeah, yeah, and I, was, I, I wasn't there, but it looked pretty big. Yeah. I think tomorrow we're gonna be like that on the uh, the main stage. Yeah, I only started doing Tekken commentary last year. The game came out uh, on console early 2017, so I started seriously playing the game and doing commentary last year. Ah, and man, I love it. This game, the more like I watch it, the more I play it, the more I like it. It's sick. It is a fun game. It's very, it's very friendly to new players as yeah, well because yeah. it's it's gone so much easier compared to Tech and Tech Two. Yeah. Like I I did try playing Tech and Tech Two a while before I got into Tekken Seven, and I can't understand anything. Yeah, you guys at home, like we're saying, a lot of players too. I've been seeing as well. Like they've been watching, 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 but not playing. But recently, the people are like, you know, what, I'm just gonna pick up. I'm gonna play too. And uh, Bandai put out the. Whatever it's called, the welcome pack. Ah. I think in August or September they're putting out. It'll have season one, season two, all the DLC, everything for like ah, fifty bucks. So if you're waiting, if you want to get in, there's your chance. But we are waiting right now, man. If this is done, the schedule was we were supposed to do this and then Street Fighter Five, but I think Street Fighter might have been finished off stream. Which is good news for me, because that means I might <laughs> be able to finish commentary at 4 p.m. Have you been to Malaysia before? Yeah, I've been to Malaysia. Like, a really long time ago. Maybe when I was two years old, I don't really remember. I'm trying to figure out what to do. I don't know what yeah. I want to eat or drink. Yeah, where is Arslan anyways? He's taking quite a long time. The Malaysian food did not sit well <laughs> with his Pakistani stomach. He's got the John Ding. <laughs> hey guys, we are chilling. Chat, talk to me. What's up? Bim bim. Bum bum bum. Man, you guys aren't saying anything. <laughs> the production team is talking about disqualify. Do not disqualify the guy. We can wait. The stream monsters don't have anything better to do. Let the man come back. Bam, bam, bam. What's up, guys? We're waiting out here. 4 p.m. Started at 11, so about five hours of tech and streaming. I'm hungry. Did you eat? Yeah, I did eat before the stream, actually. I didn't eat anything. I had breakfast at like 8. And then they brought me that, that heart. Oh, my <laughs> God. I still... I'm going to be thinking about that all weekend. Have you been to uh, Bangkok? Yeah. Yeah, they have weird... I don't, I don't eat any of that, you didn't that nonsense. Eat anything? I've, been to China, I've been everywhere. Everywhere I go, it's like I'll eat a little bit of weird stuff. Not even weird stuff. Local stuff. I don't uh -huh. want to eat a heart or like a <laughs> scorpion. Or I was in China and they, they eat rabbit, like rabbit head, like oh, rabbit God. skull. Like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> At least I'm better than Logan some. He just eats McDonald's everywhere. Wow. Like a European. All right, guys. Anyway, here we go. This is the last match of the day to determine who makes top eight on the loser side, surprisingly. Nobi. Actually, not so. He lost to Olsan. Sometimes the bracket is just not out on your side. But yes, we are. He is back here. Our son Ash back from the restroom. To the I assume it's going to be another. Cause, oh, this is actually going to be interesting because Nobi stuck with Steve against Olsan and he lost. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Ash is also a Kazumi player. He's going to go with Steve again. I'm, I think he's going with Steve. Uh, maybe he is, yeah. Like, uh, he trains against Take, so maybe he thinks this is a better matchup for Steve, and he does. Locked in. Maybe it could be because this is just a challenger uh, rank. Yeah, that, that's rank. also true. Yeah, he could be just trying uh, trying new things. But he also needs, he needs some damn points, though. Yeah. He needs some points. He is not guaranteed a spot yet. And it's far, man. It's, like I said, it took me like 14 hours to get here. <laughs> I wouldn't want to travel 14 hours and then like not even make top eight. But here we go. 
Ashes, no slouch. He's from Kuwait, along with Balil. Both of these two players I hadn't heard about until yesterday. They're both very, very strong players. Kuwait, shout out to the Kuwait scene. Surprisingly doing very well against the, uh, the Japanese and the Korean players. Yeah, I mean, Tekken is great because players all around the world can compete. It's just a lot of them just don't have the chance. But this Tekken World Tour is changing things up. Seeing more people travel. Alright, Nobi, what you got? Again, just like we saw against Olsan, Nobi is the one uh, pressing the offensive here. Moving forward. Yeah, Kazumi backing away, trying to create distance. Ugh, sidestep. Yeah, he wanted to get away, but no. Gets uppercutted. Round one, no. Round two. Fight. Nice block on the low. Ready. No break on the throw. I mean, what was that throw? I, no one was ready for that one. I think he thought a throw was coming. He tried to tech. I have no idea. Reversal throw pays off for Ash. Count for one. Yeah, we're getting a couple freezing here. We'll get that fixed for you guys tomorrow. Don't worry. Donkey punch in the back of the head. Tries to albatross spin in there, but gets interrupted from Ash. And now one round apiece. With punish right there. One, two. Magic four. Yes. The next up full combo and knocks Nobi's hood off. Not close enough to the wall yet, though. Yeah, not for that, but he's got all the positioning now. Now he's got Nobi right where he wants him. Yeah, Nobi was cornered, but then he tech rolled out of it. Nice duck, and then while standing one. This is just what we saw in the last match. Yeah, Nobi's not... The Steve pick isn't really yeah. working for him against Kazumi. He's being stubborn. If he loses this, he's got to go to Dragon off. He has to. He has to make a change. Steve is clearly not working out yet. Uh, gets a spike and then the OTG hit. Ash pressing the offensive now. Very, very aggressive play here from this Kazumi. And Nobi hasn't landed any hits yeah. so far. That's it. Oh no, he survived with a pixel, fly. yeah. And then boom, kicked him right in the chest. That looked very one-sided. Yeah, that was mortifying for Nobi. Sipping his tea. Character select, okay. Well, he did this last time. He went to character select and didn't switch. So, this might be your tournament life on the line right now, Nobi. Going to the dragon off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, dragon. all right. The chains are off. This is what Nobi's known for. Right. He's thinking about it. Sergey. He's locked in there. He's going to have to do two here. John Ding is streaming to Korea. What if Lo Nobi loses, though? What if Nobi doesn't make top well, eight? Well, then, I mean, that's just what happens. You gotta chalk it up to some experience. He's gotta go ask his buddy Take to work on the uh, the Kazumi matchup some more. Yeah, but like I said before, maybe he's uh, used to playing with Take. Yeah. So uh, when he's up against other Kazumi players, it's a bit weird for him. Round playing with different four. timings, different kind of pokings, different style. Let's see. Let's see what the Dragon Up does. He played Dragon Up one match earlier on stream, and he bodied his opponent too well. Forward, forward, forward. Gets the launch up this. No drop. wall combo. Yeah, drop the end and gets a wall splat. Nobi not afraid of the sidewall. Using the sidewall, sidewall. Still able to get full damage right there. And Nobi looking more confident using Dragon Up. Doesn't get hit by the Rage Drive. There you go. Remember to stand up, because that Tiger is coming. Round one, Nobi. Running two. Yeah, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Three in a row, and just like that, Ash is back to the wall. Yeah. Russian Assault. So that's Sobot up for the four right there. Nobi, now pressure at the wall. He gets the snake edge. Yeah, he gets a counter. He gets the follow up right there. Down four, and yeah, the micro sidestep punish right here. Nobi looking good. The dragon off pick was correct. He's already won more rounds of dragon off than he won with Steve against both mm -hmm. Olsan and Ash right here. Hey, he should have gone ba -ba. with dragon off against uh, Olsan just yeah. now. Then Arslan quickly fighting back. Yeah, but I mean, never count out dragon off. Nice hit confirmed right down the wall. Oh, the back swing blow. This is not enough, but this is going to put him in a great spot. Low jab. 
Anything will do it right here. Running two plus frames. Oh, the low jab kills him. Yeah, slow mo, but gets dick punch for his trouble. Ash gets on the board one round. Man, slow mo is hype. They trade blows. One, one, oh, two. That's unsafe. Yeah. yeah. This game is just so fast, though. Sometimes you know, even the best player in the middle of the match, yeah, just they're not ready. Not ready. Yeah, just want to take what you can get with the jab. Nice sidestep now from Ash. Trying to get a read on when Nobi wants to attack. Step night, get the slicing soul bot, and then the left. second hit of yeah. that string. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Match point for Kuwait. Are we gonna see two Kuwaiti players in top eight tomorrow? You're gonna see Nobi eliminated in pools. In pools? Yamasa Nobi, the team captain here. Evo champ. Tekken Global Tour champ. Can't even make it out of his pools in Malaysia? I don't buy it. I think we're gonna game three. Yeah, he's taking his time more. Trying to be more patient, less offensive than before. Every time slicing so by. Nice sidestep, ready with the punish, another ham. And working on that life lead. Trade no tiger. <sighs> Strong round. That was that was a dominating round right there. They'll be with the birdman hands, thinking about making money. Stage select here, yeah, so. Arslan Ash sticking with Kazumi. It's down to this. This is loser side to so both players on the verge of going home. One to Japan, one to Kuwait. Whoever wins this goes straight to the top eight. You see Belial right there in the back. The team uh, is a uh, fellow countryman from Kuwait giving him some advice. Where's Takedo? Is he watching this? Oh, yes, he is. Yeah, yes, Takedo's right behind. Yeah, the Yamasa boys always, they're good. They always support each other. So here we go. Dragonov, Sergey against Kazumi. Oh, in his stage as well. This is the stage with his cutscene, isn't it? The special intro, yeah, the Dragon Off Snow stage. We're in Russia. Starting off with the homing move. Running too, but Ash, why as he stays on the ground, makes him whiff, and then uh, punch him with a getup attack. No wall here, so I, I mean... I don't know. I don't know who's better for it, but I feel like Dragon Off doesn't need the wall to really oh, wow, tear you up. What the hell? It. Did he mean to do that? I think he did. Stream, did he mean to do that? <laughs> Running 2 plus. Oh, sorry, uh, Razor Rat plus. Nice oh, block on the knife. Him. Yeah, clutch block right there on the knife. Ready with the punish. First round of game 3. Low parry? Okay. Ash getting closer and oh, closer. He, it. he didn't get the follow up. Knife. Running 2. Knife. Just do it. Sidestepping that grab there. And Arslan just jabbing away, yep. poking. Look at this. Five for five right on his last five pokes. Finally, he'll be able to duck the throw. Oh, oh my that God. was sick. Fly backwards, bait out the rage drive, and punish. Match point here. Kuwait's Arslan Ash. Nobi one round away from getting sent back yeah, to Japan. Yeah, that's crazy. He can't even go back to Japan because he has to stay to cheer his teammates tomorrow. Oh, he's going to be so salty. Yeah, the salty cheering thing. But he's looking good this round. Down for 1-2, Ash, okay. Swinging back. He's got the extra damage from Rage, too. And we saw how much damage the Rage Drive has done with Kazumi in this tournament. Drop the gate on him. Drop the gate on him. Show us that blue stuff. Hey, doesn't get a chance. Sticking it out to the end. Still able to get it. He still has to win two more, though. No break on him. Throw him. Break your damn leg. Yeah, I don't him. see Nobi going for much grabs actually, even though Dragonov has a really good mix up of grabs. And the sidestep! Yeah, but this is side. He's still able to get the full damage though. I thought we might see a little shortened combo, but Nobi looking good. And Nobi slowly taking back the Beautiful. rounds! Nice duck into the shoulder, and final game, final round. Where is Rip? I'm not even gonna say it, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. <laughs> final, final round. Slicing Sobot gonna get the follow up here. Dead even on life. Nice back dash. That. Yeah. Does a little back dash from Ash. Made him whiff and was ready with the punish. He'll be one hit away from Rage. Both players. Oh! Nice break. That could have killed yeah, him. Yeah, definitely would have killed. Nice patience. Call out the Rage Drive as well. Oh, the hop kick. Nobi was airborne as well. Yeah. Knife for mid. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, man. That was a good ass set. 
He's so happy. No, we said I'm in there. That means that means that means like, that was so dangerous. Like man, that was close. <laughs> so Arslan Ash from Kuwait, very strong performance. I hope to see a lot more of this guy on the Tekken World Tour. Yeah, unfortunately he had to. Yeah. He has 